Baz, thank you so much for doing this, man, by the way. Oh, Hello, Baz. Hello, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Virtually, sort of, almost meet you. I feel you. <laughs> good, um, good. So, just quickly, Gus, I know we're, we're live at the moment, but it will take a little while for anyway to, to people to, to click yeah, in. Um, but just playing it, is all right if we just play like a, a, a few, like, can you can we play like two, uh, two maybe songs then grab a chat then play another one and then and then we'll then we'll start the show is that all right yeah perfect fantastic perfect. so at like 25 minutes past that's what that's when we'll hit it lovely yeah perfect i'll play so should we are we waiting to start or should i play a song now is that what you're saying uh yeah we'll just give it a couple minutes and then, and then we'll go perfect. live let me know whenever amazing let's see what yeah um this is so sick i'm just playing with my new gadget it's a pretty cool gadget. <clears throat> yeah, what is this? I've never been a stream yard. Yeah, no, so I found out about this with the uh, casting directors that uh, and stuff. And, um, oh, okay. and um, they, they're using it. In, um, and for my student life, it, I do struggle to, uh, to really pay for some of these Zoom stuff. Um, yeah. This is a little bit cheaper. And I and I and I saw it and I went, oh, wait, this is so weird because I can't always in the opposite direction. Green logo there, and I'm like, I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a good logo. Um, yeah. Also, awesome. I'm just gonna get some water and then we'll get ready to go. What's the name of your song, Gus? Um, well, I'll be playing. I'll, I think I'm playing a few. Um, this first one, neither of them is two new songs I've written very recently. Um, and neither of them have names yet as they're not finished or oh, uh, I, like I thought that. I'd just I'd give them a little outing uh, here a little rehearsal um, so, yeah. you find it weird to look to the left and it goes to the right the, to the right and it goes to the left oh, it's proper yes. trippy man whoa yeah. oh my god yeah my guitar yeah and my guitar is facing the wrong way <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that's definitely going to distract me now. He's obviously he's obviously way less self obsessed than me because he didn't notice. Well, <laughs> I know. No, I'm on my phone, though, so it's very small. It's a small video. Right. Just before we go live, sorry, I'm just going to add Kaylee. Kay, you there? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it all? Your, uh, actually, you should be fine to be on. You'd be on here, but there's the stream as well. After you're done, is it all right? You get, I'll, I'll have to keep you out, and then we, we, oh, it's fine. You, can, you can get me out there. Yeah, yeah. But if it gets, if there's, if there's too many people, I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to do it because it disturbs it. So I'll just kick you out. And come back. Oh, no, it's fine at the moment. Don't worry. Right, we're going to get ready for Gus to go. Right, uh, Pete, I'm going to get rid of us, and then it will just keep We've got some screen, all right yeah amazing awesome i'll just do it and then gus give it a few give it a few sex and then we'll just go all right fantastic Perfect. Okay. like playing the song is that all right yeah <clears throat> hello i think we might be live um these i'm, I'm gus uh, i'm gonna play some songs and have a chat um this first song is a, a mashup of two very, very new songs which don't have names yet. So uh, if I mess them up, I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, here they are. What would you do if I told you the letters that you wrote? still on my wall what would you do if i told you i don't have no more feelings for you none at all none at all it's funny how life leads you and leaves you stranded on your own when supposedly she believed you this ain't a song to joke or deceive you it's just a song for myself but i think it will please you i'm not trying to play the victim card because i know life's hard and we've come so far we were just kids in a playground, learning how to laugh, drink and have fun. We were just kids in a playground, sitting on a swing, blurry-eyed and dumb. We were so young. Let's 
Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, please unlock the door. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, want to see some more of the world. We were born into of the world. We were born into. If you gotta go, just open up another do 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 yeah yeah. How do you know if you're running out of time? How do you know if it is wrong or it's right? Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, please unlock the door. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, want to see some more. Of the world, we were born into. Of the world, we were born into. Completely messed that first one up. Sorry about that, everyone. It's got the words, shouldn't have done such a new song, you see. Not a good shout. Uh, I think I'm playing another song now. I think that's correct. Um, I'm going to play, what should we do, upbeat or downbeat? I'm going to play this song, um, this is a song I play at the start of all my gigs, and it's called Lullaby, uh, and it's a slow, lovey, uh, slightly more depressing one. And I'm sorry, I hope that you can see That this is not me Or who I'm meant to be I hope that you agree Cause when we went for a drink about two years ago How was I supposed to know? We'd start this love story and we will have to watch it go One day by day one year by year and we would come together and just figure it out We thought it was forever, didn't have any doubts But back then, we were younger Circumstances beyond our control Did I ever hurt you? Did I let you down? Am I the only one who really knows how good this is? Can I come and hold you? I can't cope without you Am I the only one who really knows how good this is? I didn't mean to hurt anybody And I'm sorry, I hope that you can see That this is not me or who I'm meant to be I hope that you agree That is the end of those first two songs um, Slightly messed them up, sorry about that Oh no, that was absolutely fantastic Thank you so, so much <laughs> yeah. That's all right. That was um, so odd to be on my own. I was very confused. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't worry. No oh, I'll be down here, everyone here um, on the live stream and also um, those that'll be um, tuning in onto this recording. But it's all right before we kick the show off if you can give us one more song before of we course, play, yeah. to the English um, universe. Yeah, definitely. This is a song, uh, a very, very new song again, which I'm worried to play now because I forgot the words to the last one which is never good, but this is a song called Empty Walls, um, and it's basically just about uh, sort of well, being stuck in and, and my imagination running wild about what life's going to be like. Um, yeah, and it's called Empty Walls. I hope you enjoy it.
I wanna be 75 and sitting with my wife Butterfly feelings as if it were the first meeting Yeah, I wanna be 75 and dancing with my wife Even though we shouldn't, the doctors said that you couldn't But our song, it came on the telly That's even if we have tellies then I'll place my hand on your belly and make you feel like a mother again And just because you can't remember who I am Really doesn't matter, the life we've lived, that's what matters, right? And just because you can't remember who I am An empty walls and empty pages in my book, I'm just a fool Young, young, naive, misunderstood Wanna be what I could have been, yeah Exceeding what I'm dreaming in And see what I should have seen And I want it now And empty walls And empty pages in my book, I'm just a fool Young and naive, misunderstood Wanna be what I could have been, yeah Exceeding what I'm dreaming in And, and see what I should have seen I want it now I want it now I want it na 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 na, -na. I want to get too drunk at my best friend's wedding and make a tit of myself Fuck up my health I want to feel real love and know where it's heading Cause it's not about wealth or even yourself Maybe live in a foreign country Be a bit in sol in Alicante Wanna start getting paid by monthly For the songs that I write, wouldn't that be lovely? I wanna know what it's like Oh, for her to break my heart When I think she's the one Look back and say I was dumb Oh my goodness, hold on I wanna know what it's like For her to break my heart Sorry about that. And empty walls, and empty pages in my book. I'm just a fool. Young and naive, misunderstood. Wanna be what I could have been, yeah. Exceeding what I'm dreaming in, and see what I should have seen. I want it now. And empty walls, and empty pages in my book. I'm just a fool. Young and naive, misunderstood, wanna be what I could have been, yeah. exceeding what I'm dreaming in, and, and see what I should have seen. I want it now. I want it now. I want it na 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 na. I want to be 75. That is not what you want on a live stream. Sorry about that, everybody. Stop it. No, and <laughs> your voice is absolutely amazing. So stop oh, it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Are you looking good? You, you look like you're getting a tan going on here. A slight tan? Yeah, I don't know how because the weather's been absolutely terrible recently. Yeah, it's been atrocious. I think it's um, from what, the sunnier days where I was going for my one walk a day. <laughs> And how, how, how's the new single going at the moment? The new single's going all right, yeah. Going out, isn't single, it? Uh, yeah, it's the first single I've ever released, so it's, I was quite excited to release it. Um, it's quite odd when it's out, though, because it's, it's sort of like, you know, a couple months in the making, and then it's a slight anticlimax, <laughs> but no, it's nice to have it out. Nice to have it out. <laughs> well, where can everyone find you again on your own? They uh, can find me. So the single's called Love for Music. It's on Spotify, iTunes, wherever you like. My name's Gus Flynn Henry with a D, uh, which is a bit of an odd name. And that's the same on Instagram and everything. And that is where you can find me. Well, thank you so much, man. Always a pleasure. Right. I'm sure we'll no you. problem. Take care. Thanks you so man. much. Bye-bye. Nice
Right, okay. Drink the Ink, Benny Harris Kelly, Forgotten Words is on in association with the Inverse, Pete Cox. Let's just put him up on here right now. Hello, Pete. You all right? Hello, Bailey. I'm very well, mate. How are you? Oh, well, oh my, well, it's, 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 it's new, new technology, new people, new lineup. It's going to be absolutely sensational. But thank you so, so much uh, for joining us here today. Um, oh, my goodness, guys. Thank you. Yeah, if you can see already, um, and I don't know if you can see the mouse going around, but we have a little bit of a, a different setup using different technology. So please bear with if anything does go a bit, woohoo, but we shall see how it goes. Um, but yes, whilst we're on here and whilst we're kicking it off, I'd just like to quickly just promote Drink the Ink's next event next week, Saturday on the 20th of uh, June, 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. I'll be doing another marathon, uh, 14 hours of non-stop interviewing, presenting, hosting. We'll have the likes of, uh, hopefully Pete will come, uh, members of the university seeing of how this goes. Whoop! trial run um and yeah we'll have directors from peaky blinders from mr selfridge sherlock doctor who um actors galore west end broadway's finest but um and that will all be in aid of the dash charity which supports the victims of domestic abuse to allow families to move on in the future but um i think before we hit our next act and as um let's face it this way because uh, everything's opposite on the camera um, yeah. he's gonna mm -hmm. just hit us with it um with uh, one of his amazing poems so pete whenever you're ready let's take it away let's hit it well i was wondering like uh it's really grateful to be here with you bailey and these things you do and invite some people and have that but like i get asked like why do i do this quite what? often and why? like uh, well why, 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 why? Is it because nowadays there's so many third-eyed reciters with this one-way focus, hocus-pocus that they say to sound so woke as they invoke incantations and spiritual legislation just to build some sort of fan base fascination? Well, it takes a little bit of thought and dedication, so they're going to cop a little bit of a mention. I mean, please tell me they're aware enough to know that they're talking pure shite with all that trite that they spew at us, right? And I only know because I'm guilty. That's why. And you know the ones, these beings of light that are never wrong because they're always so perfectly right. Well, I do this for all the people out there feeling all alone and misled. I do this for the valley of sheep that they fed. I do this for you. A spirituality in this consciousness vibe have become the next religious tribe. And I had to get away from the lies that they fantasize as it's not lining up to my reality or my experiences, guys. And it's nice ideals they yell at the show and tells. And it's good wordplay they convey on a conveyor belt of multi-syllable free-for-alls. But where is the truth? Where is the pain from the uproot that comes from looking at this darkness that you claim to have viewed and now bestow upon us all? Or is it just a way to be heard in a herd of words that serve no purpose? And haven't we had enough of that? Like when the youths talk about guns and knives and bitches and ice, when we all know they never have and probably never ever will live that life, but they fed that lie life until they bled that real life. All because it sounded good, right? Same pattern, different suits. Now I don't know a lot, and half of everything I've remembered, I've probably already forgot, but it's my lot. And that is something that all this bullshit cannot and will not ever stop. So check your motives, under your motives, around your motives, between your motives, motives over motives, motives under motives, because the truth doesn't have one. <laughs> Thanks, Bailey. Pete Cox, everyone. We will. Sh we shall be hearing more of him uh, later on. Thank you so, so much, Pete. Thank you, man. And uh, so is this where I introduce someone? Um, actually, first up is Cooped Up Creatives, and then no, it's I got it completely wrong. Yeah, but we, you know, we're giving it a go, and we're, we're giving it a go. We're going to plough through it. <laughs> Thank you, <all> beautiful. <laughs> right, I'll catch you in a sec, Pete. Nice one, man. Right. Okay. Up next, we have Cooped Up Creatives. They are back um, at another Drink the Ink event. Um, I uh, kind of, my mind has been in oblivion and I kind of thought um, um, that they were they were doing it in my mind without, act, without actually properly inviting them. And it's a pleasure to actually have them uh, here today. So uh, I'm, I'm going to stop talking um, because I'm already losing my mind as it is. Um, Anna, uh, uh, the founder and creator of Cooped Up Creatives is here. And I think she's brought an army of people that I can see down here. So, hello, Anna. Who who have you brought hello. with you today? Okay, I've got my main my main peeps, uh, Ruby, Fraser, and Maria. If they're here, 
this platform's rather yeah. exciting. We had some fun oh. playing with them. There they are. Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> Are they all like, how are you guys doing at the moment? Yeah, well, I think they're very polite. Yeah. Right. Well, Anna, I think you should. <laughs> I think you should just take it away, and then we'll grab a okay. chat later. We're gonna go for it. Okay, we've got two for you today. Um, we're gonna start with our one from week seven, which is Ink, and this has been written by Pauline Singh, Katie Surrey, Ashling and Mahoney, Brittany Pallet. Philip Woodford, Kaylee Rose Allen, Jordan Cooper, Libby Boyd, Libby Simon, Rachel Manley, Victoria Sloan Curtin, Anna Blackburn, Hufi Amenthid, Charles Sloboda Bolton, Ruby Blue Tandy Thomas, Charlotte Boyle, Fraser Kelsey, Sandra Schaffner, Annabelle Forbes, Beth and Sullivan, and two anonymous creatives. Here we go. Kissing you is like writing a poem, a colorful and wet ink. I don't need to think. Your pen marks on my skin, navy, turquoise, lilac, pink, orange, olive, violet ink, scattered, splattered, smeared and brushed. I wanted the ink entwined with my skin. Sooty eye core rivulets. Could it be a kink? Or just the way to link, the way I think. Words flow fluently straight to ink, hand and brain a fuss supplied, and so, your words immortalized. How much I do love flow on paper, pen in hand, the ink rivers that drown my body, speaking of love. I'm told they're called veins. Is it a drink? What is ink? Ink. A solution to our thoughts, to splat, to erase, to scribble, to remember, black blots, dotting my page, an ink-stained mess on my finger, coaxing out malaise, into a hecatomb of words on a snowy sea. I am what gives you the freedom for creativity. Every word I pen down becomes a testament of my soul, an ink-stained mess on my finger. Now more like a poisonous venom, illustrating my life, showing everything I love. When I write, I don't write with ink. It stains and bloods. I've given up writing in ink, it stays for too long, etched into skin, skin tattooed with my quill, a clotted black stain of our existence. Seep into my skin, overwhelm me, devour me, poison me, possess me, free me, annihilation. Droplets splatter and trickle down the page, a blank canvas no more, a letter of goodbyes. I've given up writing in ink. Once inky thoughts now set me free, liberating you and me, a stain, heavy, sticky, yours. I wish it was purple, but it's black, darker than I wanted, darker than I thought was possible. One mark seeping into oblivion. If I could write myself into your veins, would you always think of me? So that's week seven ink and now we're going to do our um, one of our favorite ones which is from this week just gone um, which is week nine safety. Um, we're not a political project but we felt it was really important to make some kind of statement towards all the Black Lives Matter activity that's happening at the moment and we really wanted to show our solidarity. So this piece was made as a dedication to the Black Lives Matter movement. And it has been written by, in no particular order, Victoria Sloan Curtin, Sam Domingo, Madeline Ismail, Rudy, Cleo Carrara, Arthur Thorpe, Sandra Schaffner, Charles Sloboda Bolton, Philip Woodford, Pauline Singh, Rachel Crozier, Katie Surrey, Fraser Kelsey, Ruby Blue Tansy Thomas, Libby Simons, Bailey Harris Kelly, Anna Blackburn, and one anonymous creative. This is week nine safety. Each dawn I wait, soundless screaming, heavy breathing, broken windows, doors that can't close but don't lock. Be alert and aware for your own safety. Stay vigilant of people, situations and what you hear and see keys between the fingers won't help each dawn i wake scared to walk out there 
the world gone, there he sits, snowflake, safe from harm, bunker bitch, a fence, a wall. Oh, sweet irony. I've let myself be safe for far too long now. Silence isn't silent. It's a loud expression that you can be safe whilst others face oppression for your own safety. The matter's not of being safe. Everyone deserves to be heard and protected. Everyone deserves a foundation of support around them. Living is the requirement to be free. To live life is no mystery. To turn a blind eye is awaiting someone's death. My silence is an act of genocide. It's simple. My silence is an act of genocide. I wish I could find beautiful words, satisfaction and aim. But the only thing I want to do is to scream. To feel secure, supported, loved is essential to the well-being and survival of humankind. The closer you are to me, the safer I feel. Safety first, but lately reimbursed is the purse with values of cursed worth. I'm ashamed. It takes your pale little face to make me feel safe here. The world pauses around us, pastel blue, nothing more. When it's not safe for man to breathe, when I tell you I don't feel safe, then it's time for mankind to see. I need you to hear me. I found a safe spot. It's like Narnia for adults buried in the internet. Try it. Blacklivesmatter.com Silence isn't silent. It's simple. Silence isn't silent. And there we have it. That's our little contribution for the day. Wowzers. Well, thank you so, so much. Always sensational. Great to see the, 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 same, the same faces as well. Yeah, I've got my little posse now. They're very reliable. Hey, They're very good. Guys, so, so uh, a lot more, I hope, because, oh, my God, I'm in, you know, I'm, I'm in love with you so, so much. This, this <laughs> thing I thought you guys were going to do it anyway. And thank you so much for doing it. Such short notice. Uh, but thank yeah, you so much, guys. Look after yourself. And uh, we'll see you very, very shortly. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. Thanks. Right, wasn't that lovely, uh, Pete? Hello, I think it's your turn. Uh, your time round to uh, bring some of your posse in and uh, show what the universe has got. Oh yes, and I couldn't bring none finer. Honestly, we have a we have a superb amount of people coming to perform for you tonight. And I just have to say, I love the last people. The way they they read everyone's poems is just so. I love that. But this guy who's coming on next, he, uh, I love him, man. He pushes me to perform when we're not locked down. So, like, he's like, go perform, go here, go there. And I'm like, like I want to snap at him, but he's always, like, he does it out of pure love. So, uh, yeah, but honestly, when he performs, I just feel like quitting whatever I do. Like, you you just, just I don't need to say anything apart from show love for D Grant. Yeah, what's going on? You're right. What's happening, Dick? What's happening? I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you, fella? You all right? I'm always better when I see you. Why does my hat look so crooked, man? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that about my soul. <laughs> what's happening? Oh, I'm chilling, man. I'm here with you. We're here in Drink the Ink, and you're going to tell us stuff, aren't you? What are you going to tell yeah, us? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to everyone tuned in right now, by the way. Um... So, how long have I got? Five minutes, yeah? How much you got? Yeah, got time. Time. Sorry, just quickly. Liverpool fan. Come on, man. Yes! <laughs> yes! Come on! <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, I've got gas. <laughs> you footballers. You footballers, honestly. Um, I've got three pieces if I can try to squeeze it into a five minutes or a little bit over. Well, you know me. Professionalism is not my middle name. So, uh, I say go for it. I'm sure ba Bailey is more than happy for you to do that as well. All right, cool. Um, so I'm going to start off with this first one. This is a piece that a lot of the Universe uh, family obviously hear me perform quite a lot. Um, and hopefully the Drink the Ink guys will like this piece as well. So this one is called Needing You Still. Um, oh. So yeah, we'll go like this. 
like the drum beat. Needy like an old grandmother needing a sweater, sweat beating since you've been away, eternal bleeding. Memories raced from my mind, pulled over by one time because they were speeding. But we were greeting, we were meeting, we were eating. Miss me or miss me not, food for thought, we were feeding. Romeo and Juliet, deadly plot, we was praying to Jesus, better give us one more shot of playing a bird or boat the dock so we can stand in each other's shoes or walk a mile instead of 3,000 jagged rocks and raggedy socks solely as the world is not too lonely to look at clocks. They remind me of how much time has passed since we last took a walk since I seen you last and the cat stepped over my tongue and left me nothing to talk when I'm needy. Needing you to bring back the chalk so we can outline our love instead of watching it fade from ash to dust. Because I feel like a vast lardiness between us. See, I'm a nomad, a fiend for romance on a bus. And I feel like the last man with no meaning. And I haven't been in hell for months. And it's crazy because I put faith in no man, no man or religion. But baby, you I trust, see... They could hold you ransom for seven billion bucks and I will pay with interest that every angel lifts you up. And if it is what it isn't, fuck a visit. I'll do time as solitary confined if it came with a conjugal touch. I mean, I'm a cripple. I'm in need of a crutch. Since you've been gone, Cupid done triple in the punch and butterfly too far gone to cool my, cool hold my guts. And I'm sitting here with lines of Richard Tyner poems, etc. such and such. See... I'm a word but hard to recite it. I'm a bird but harder flying. I'm a dead man, a harder dying, addicted to holograms of reuniting. Or maybe I'm the man the bag lady's finally finding. Or, may, or maybe Erica do will make a remix called The Boat Team, too heavy to be riding. She got me feeling like I'm six. I'm at an autograph signing when nobody here to do the signings. See, I'm lonely, like genuine without his pony. Feel like I'm the only. So much distance, feel like we phony, like we never really exist. Like if we FaceTime, we'll be like, who's this? And we stuck between a rock and a hard kiss and I'm running out of luck with the hard kicks. But when you was here, I was a king. But when you went away, I wasn't a thing. I was a bad keyboard play out of tune with, oh, I was a bad keyboard play out of tune on the Lord's Day with Hathaway no longer here to sing. I always think when that guy jumped out of the window, did he think, damn, see, I should have stayed. See, I needed you, but it was too late. See, I needed you like, Back, back in the day before you was young and you went away. But I have faith will rise like the sun and return to the one like when jazz play. I'm done. <laughs> That's the first piece. All right. What? What? Come on. You even dropped Richard Tyner in it. <laughs> <laughs> there's too many. There's too much in it. Like. It would take end of show. Yeah, they should just they should like they should put your words into schools and they should be studied because oh, it would yeah, there's man. so much, it's complex. Beautiful man, come yeah. on, give us more. I know you got more in there. All right, so it's this all, one, in the this next one is called pretend. Um apologies, I can't look at the screen while I'm doing this because these next two pieces I don't know too well. But I'll try to look up as much as I can to engage with you. Uh, but yeah, this next piece is called Pretend. And it goes like this. Shape shifter. Cold switching. Just to carry conversations on cold shoulders causes my cordial climate to attempt at room temp small talk over two brews. But I'm tipsy from disinterest. Listening just enough to... Uh-huh. And head nod knowing I'm too pissed to di drive this stick shift dialogue any longer. Truthfully, truthfully, I'm a loner. Seriously stricken with only child syndrome, smiling for pictures who, with people who don't purchase product. But I'd be the butthole if I fast forward past pseudo flans who plagued to tag me in Instagram like we share in nostalgia. So I pause for the cause far too often flaunting several silhouettes for self, for self, for fresh perspective. Elected, a semi-sociable yet anti-approachable people person posing on the runway of relationships sunken in my postal dysfunction, finding emos, nemos in a sea of sorrow, seeking to borrow empathy, but I'm empty more than I'm empty more often than not pretending, pretending like I know your voice, like I know your voice whenever you call, whenever, whenever you call. Yeah, so that's the second piece. And um, 
this final one um, is a new piece. So um, hopefully I don't stumble for it too badly because it's new. Um, but this one is called Grown Man Bars. <laughs> um, yeah. Goes like this. Grown Man Bars is something you got to deal with. No matter how much of that fabricated shit you rap, it won't equal up to this real shit. This is for the guys. My grandmother believes the spine of a good man and the spine of a good book are the same kind of holy. I know good men who are far from holy. I wonder if heaven falls far from the tree. I know thick bodies, I know thick bodies of fog twisting out like a repeated tongue. Carry a crooked stench that pulls at your shirt like a fight. I know men whose futures slip off the corners of their hands, falling into swollen bellies of women they know way too well and spit out images that look like them filled with blood. I know man's hands are only meant to hold his own breath. I know grown men aren't supposed to cry. Tears are just wet pieces of dead skin. I know masculinity is a stab wound in a chorus of a song. I know mirrors with the eyes of a car. Uh, I know mirrors with eyes, the color of a bloody nose. Pain is a shadow. You walk off until your feet are like enough to carry the burden. Heart is a burden. A ship sinking in wet cement on cold nights with no one to say I love you back. I know menace are never supposed to love you back. Voice is a shaking stature. The bigger the man is a column of chewed tongues better left for dead. Swallowing the empty spaces behind my teeth like a liquid. I know men who drink sanctuaries by the neck. I know shame is when everything grows eyes. I know a man's face is a library of knuckles ripping at the curves when he looks at what he's become. I know mistakes are <coughs> lessons yet to be learned. I know pride is what it feels like to breathe through a straw. Fear is a high-pitched laugh scratching at the shovel in your chest. Once I saw a casket pour out of a man's back. Dying is when someone else bleeds for you. I know, I know, I know, I know. Thank you. And now we know. And now we know. Now, now I know. And now Bailey knows, and now everyone else knows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come thanks, on, deck, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for having me on the platform, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, hopefully, we can do this um, again sometime soon, and hopefully, gonna nab you for another event because that yeah, was yeah, most definitely, most amazing. Definitely. Um, yeah, thank you so much, man. No, no problem. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Oh right, well, Pete. Um, up next. Um, it's just a little bit of rejig because I know there are people that are on a, a, a time scale, but um, be doing, be doing. Uh, drink the ink. So I think up next, if uh, Love O'Clock Poetry is here, I'm just looking through. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Love O'Clock Poetry um, is on call uh, tonight. And what a pleasure it is to have this artist uh, on the show. Um, it was all really by chance um, of, kind of how everything happened because i just went on an insta live saw some poetry i went oh i love a bit of this and anyways enough about talking yeah. about that i'll see you in a bit i'm gonna get yeah, love about poetry here hello hey how's it going yeah not bad how you doing i'm doing a fantastic thanks very much for for having me i'm so grateful and i like you said it was kind of a you know series of events that led to this I uh five minutes and i went oh Oh, check this out and i'm like this is fantastic <laughs> anyway um uh, what, what what have you got um for us this evening i do have uh so i, I you talked to me about seven minutes so i selected a couple of uh of couple short of poems but uh i hope everyone can uh, can enjoy and once again i am extremely grateful to be able to uh to share this with you if you want to uh to follow and and see more of the of those texts on my page i am on instagram at love o'clock l-o-v-o clock so it'll be a pleasure to connect with you and um and to share more poetry with you amazing well whenever you're ready take it away 
Great. So this first piece was written at 136. I love you. I want all of these words to slide that first barrier and get inside you. From your inner lips, touching, caressing, melting on your tongue, then deeper through that long, dark, and narrow tunnel of denial. I want them to go down, trust, free fall, gravity infused. Your system may try to break them down. Some may leave, the I will go. It's not about me, it's about us. The you will disappear. It's more than that. The most important will stay, keep it, cherish it, absorb every thin sound, let it sit in you, and maybe you'll digest the meaning of it all, love. So this is um, the first piece I wanted to share. Once again, one of the theme I like to, um, uh, to, uh, to talk and to write about is love. And I think that love is what unites us all. And it comes through a lot of different forms. And this is why I find so much inspiration in that theme. This second piece was written at 1156. I am a perfectionist. Therefore, I will accept to cherish all of your flaws, weaknesses, uncertainties with a passion and a love because all of this makes you perfect to me. So um, a little bit about this piece. I think that sometimes in love, we tend to, uh, to have a, an, an ideal image of, of a person, but I think that our humanity just defines us as, as people with, with weaknesses, with flaws. And when you're committed like that to, uh, towards someone, it is absolutely, um, it, it is a must to be, um, to, to cherish every single parts of, of that person. 1123, I feel the potential of our love something so big, so pure, so natural, so unconsciously conscious, so deep. As soon as we'll dive in, it will overflow. You'll never be thirsty again. 112, you are a silent force that impacts my life without notice. I don't know how, but you are always there, everywhere. I go, I am drawn to your soul. You are my gravity. Another one for you guys. I hope, uh, once again, I wanna thank everyone that is on, uh, on this live. I am extremely grateful for you guys and I hope you can relate to my words. Um, five ten. See you soon. Words thrown away to soothe, to ease the tension. A situation where you're locked in that rigid cage that we call past. The part that hurts the most is the end. Why soon? Let's set up a date, a place, a time a certainty, a truth we can hold on to. Where is soon? How soon is it to know if soon is coming? When does soon become a lie? Soon enough? Is soon enough? Is it soon enough? What is soon enough? Too many questions because the Sad reality often digs the coffin of those unforgotten souls that left too soon. So uh, yes, this is a, uh, I think this is um, one that, that really meant a lot to me. I think that sometimes we're caught in, in, into relationships and, and those words have 
such a powerful meaning and uh um i think that it, it is so important to uh to stay connected to ourselves and to and to really have this deep connection with uh with what we feel yeah and with with the with the times of like when you've written the 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 poems how quickly does do the thoughts come to you do you do you work on it is it just like that stream of consciousness or do you really fine tune that piece this this is a fantastic question and one thing i really try to uh um to implement in in my art and in my writing process is to just write things as as they come through the ebbs and flows i write it down on my phone and or on a on, on a journal that i have and everything i wrote is exactly the way i just uh express it to you so there's no i know sometimes in, in writing process artists that kind of work on a on a text but i want it to be exactly what it really felt like at this time uh that's at the time that i that i wrote it and that's how i think that i can be the most vulnerable to uh the people that read it well thank you so much for sharing your gifts with us today i appreciate once again and i'll stay on the chat to uh to discover and you know uh, a lot of new talents of course i'll catch you soon take care Bye -bye. righty um that was amazing wasn't it hello pete you're right oh, I, love it. I love the way he delivers and oh love 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 is the key Wows as well. Whilst love is in the air and talent is still seeping through these chats, um, who have you got up next on the Inverse list? Up next, he uh, as soon as I put that this was happening and there were slots available, he was the first one to respond. And this is Mr. James Linton, and he is just a, he's you. Well, you're here. Yeah, you're here. He's regular at the Inverse, and he always brings us something that has just got some proper potency to it. So. Yeah, give it up. Show your love. Give it up for Mr. James Linton. Let's find. Let's just quickly find him. He's not. He's not here at the moment, and I know that he's watching it. So, James, are you? Are you the? Oh, there he is. He just added himself. Yeah. Boom. He's loading. He he's coming slowly but surely. Hello. That would be so tragic after such an introduction for him to not be there. Wouldn't it? Come on, James. I, I really had to pull some stuff out there for you. <laughs> How are you, James? Can't hear you. Not at all. It's all right, mate. We love mistakes. Still can't hear you. If you, if you click on the settings... Oh, you've just muted yourself. Wait. If you quickly go on the settings at the bottom and then there's uh, the camera, if you just double check how your audio is configured, you'll be able to just see. There we go. We're good? Yep. Hey. Hey. Yes, James, how are you, my man? Yeah, I'm good, bud. I'm good. All good. What's going on? You good? I'm oh, me. I'm oh, me. I'll just keep on doing that. Wake up, breathing, works. But what you got for us today? Uh, two poems. Um, they should be round about, should still be about five minutes, so I'm not going to overrun. <laughs> uh, so this first poem, I usually do around this time of year, because it's been about three years now since the uh, tragedy of Grenfell Tower, and the uh, people, the victims of that are still living like refugees. Mm -hmm. So I always like to perform this poem just to remind people of that. Well, and this you, is, always, you always give us potent stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll, sh I'll shut up. You go. Yeah, I'll shut up. I'll go away. Take me. Okay. So this is Mummy, I'm missing. Mummy, I'm missing. I should kiss on my head as I roll out of bed, seeing red, far on my feet. Mummy, the heat. Mum, I call for my mum, but she doesn't come. Why doesn't she come? I run into the black. I choke on the smoke, on the fires that are hissing. Mummy, I'm missing. Maria, I never meant to die. Just make you ask why, just why I was leaving, why the walls were heaving, why the ceiling was rumbling, why I was fumbling to save you from the crumbling floor. It was too late. I know. I couldn't wait. I hesitate. Could you be gone like I am now? I'm sorry I made you cry. I made you ask why. 
because Maria, I never meant to die. Describe hell, or easy, Grenfell, shattered glass removed from class, sirens roaring, embers falling, they're all boarding, through the pain those who remain, through the fire growing high, scream their fears, blown in my ears, be saved, see everyone say they're missing, say my dad, say my mum, say my brother, say my sister, say my daughter, say my son, say my aunt, say my uncle, say my granddad, say my grandma, say my love, parents above, I don't care how, say them now. It's easy. Grandfell. Thank you. Oh, James. You just, you're just powerful, man. Powerful. That lot I, every time you do, you always make me think. Like and I try not to think, but you make me think in the best of ways. Because I think way too much, you know, it's like it's like an emporium of thought. But uh yeah, it's powerful, man. So what's your next one? Oh, uh, it's the uh, you've already heard this one a couple of times before. It's the one I performed last time at the universe. Oh, this is gonna cut. Yeah. Yeah, this cut. Um, Come on, give it. Okay. So this poem uh deals with a topic that I feel has been very much overlooked during the whole coronavirus pandemic and that's the rise of racism against the Chinese and other people from Far East Asia. The content warning because there's lots of racist language in this. Are you gonna say something? You're looking at me like you're gonna say something make me feel like nothing with your stupid books, jibe comments, comments of abuse you choose to say day after day. And you tell me to move. You tell me to move. You tell me to move. Move from your face, my slant-eyed wrist, to the mask we wear for protection. We don't spread infection. Yes, the contagion's raging. Hundreds of thousands have died because China lied. But it's not my fault. Now you think you won't eat pink food. You're not in the mood. You're home to smash our shops and takeaways. Destroy our livelihoods because you think you should is what we deserve. We have a lot of nerve coming here. Now I'm waiting for your call to attack you to smack me down like he did with Jonathan Mock on Oxford Street. You beat him split lip. Back I made him cry running back home to the land of pink. Actually from Singapore. But the same thing you think. And our ethnicity is not a virus. This is true crisis. You cause liars, genetically engineering a virus to wipe you all out. My 5G towers, police state powers, disappearing anyone exposed to the truth. You can't separate the government from the people. You only blame us. And you don't care if we're Chinese or Japanese or Vietnamese or Malaysian or Thai, Korean or Korean. We all look the same. So your treats the same. We are the true pandemic and chemical is fear and hate spread across the globe. We're a terror and violence. Science for the majority of the minority to speak out. This is discrimination. And it's because those look up our shoulders in fear because the hate is right here. It's not just in London. It's not Mank. I'm with the rage is harm drum. Mandy Huang, you told us to take a fucking virus back home. You swung at a friend. The only one is a horrid end. And you call up the school. You say, Mr. Sliff, I have a tiff and Mrs. Ting Tong, Mr. Ching Tong, sending their dirty kids to class. Total fast, you'll have to mix my precious angels. And you think this is a joke? There's no smoke without a fire, and I'm no lie, because it's happened in Toronto and New Zealand. And no longer can I sit on a fucking fence. This isn't fucking anecdotal evidence. You know, it was. It doesn't make any better. But I want to hate the fester. Because I'm no Gandhi, I'm no Mother Teresa, I'm no saint, not trying to paint a black car brush. I'm no SJW, pretending I'm better than anyone else. So I'm for fucking shit, let's face it. I mean, it's racist as the racist I'm discussing now. Wow, oh, there's some stupid shit without even knowing it. Just ask my sister, try to explain to 12 year old me. Well, I shouldn't like a Facebook group called You Wanna See My ID? I wanna see your passport first. Wait, that's worse. After 7 7, I was nervous after seeing turbans. I make books about watermelon and fried chicken. Very thin, just to get a laugh, a pat on the back, and God, I was a right ignorant quack. Of course, I profess, profess to my ignorance. That doesn't make me a better person. I asked for certain. If I said that stupid shit just to get a rise, that's all right, but I apologize. So I'm not trying to gaslight or start a fight. Get us against each other, turn poor against brother. Because you all need to stick together, whatever the storm might bring. And apart, we can't win. But we need to think about what comes after. Were we good or bad to each other? Because there's light at the end of the tunnel. As long as we pick each other up, 
Thank you. Calm me down. And maybe that's cheesy as fuck. I actually just shut the fuck up. I need to say this because we didn't cause this crisis. We're not liars. And our ethnicity is not a fucking virus. Thank you very much. Yeah. I remember like, the first time you performed it. Do you remember the reaction you got? Yeah. The love you got for that was just like... Oh. What do you think, Bailey? Yeah, well, like I was just like, whoa. Yeah. It's, yeah. Limonek. That, you know, talking about powerful stuff, strong stuff, that was... That was oh, thank you. Thank you mm. for sharing that. That was that was amazing. Yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for having me. You're the man, James. You're the man. Show him love, everyone. I can see you're doing it already, but show him, tell him. He just shows you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so so much. Look after yourself, all right, James. Yeah, great. Thank you for that. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Take care, mate. Right, Pete. Um, who do we have next? Up next, we have Kaylee Rose Allen, Divine Lines, and they are back um to show off their poetry prowess. Um with art, movement, spoken word combined, Kaylee uh, joins us now to do what she does best. Hello, Kaylee. Hey. Oh, sorry. I muted. <laughs> how you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Uh, thank you, Pete. You all right? <laughs> Hello. Kaylee. Hello. Are you okay. I'm very well. Very well. I'm looking forward to hearing you. Thank yeah. you. Thank what, you for having me. What have you got in store for us uh, today, Kay? Um, so I'm going to do um, two of my poems. Um, so I've been doing them alongside some like collages. I've been putting um, words and like mixed media together. Um, but before I do some of my own work, I'm going to read somebody else's work, if that's okay. Awesome. Well, the set is yours. Take Thank it you. away. Um, so this is an extract from... Um, a spoken word play by Imogen Sterling called Hashtag Hypocrisy. Um, and I read it the other day and um, yeah, it really resonated with me as I've been doing some anti-racism work and I think it's really relevant and valid. So I wanted to share that first of all with everyone. Uh, this is taken from the middle of the play. Um, so I'd suggest reading it all if you like it. <laughs> And I was the right kind of different. And I was the good kind of right different. And I was the most kind of good right different. Because I stood out from my peers. This travel was no holiday, no gap year, no trust fund backed exploit. This was real life. Months passed, I kept going, kept earning. It was no gift. I worked hard for the way I was living. I deserved it because I played music for hours in sweltering heat or snow-covered streets, rehearsed daily, unfailingly. I was diligent, I was disciplined, networked when necessary, cut back when need be, moved my way through Europe with no help from nobody. Not entirely true. There was that time I lost my passport but was let on the plane anyway. There was that time I couldn't actually afford a place to stay but turned on the waterworks, offered to play a few songs and I got my way. There was that time my partner had a pen knife in his pocket as we crossed into Spain and security turned a blind eye while I watched others be detained. There was that time, nay, so many times, I was giving gigs over local bands so audiences could watch a lovely British girl on stage and that was the money that paid my way. Now perhaps they were subtle encouragements, invisible privileges, platform Priorities unfairly given, but it was to niceness, not whiteness. I'm aware this reasoning's somewhat flawed. There's a sense of discomfort I can't quite interpret. A discrepancy, a lingering, suggesting unfair division, but what can I do? I didn't ask for it. When I go home, there'll be no more need to be different. Not entirely true. So that's from um, hashtag hypocrisy, hypocrisy, can't speak. Um, yeah, and it's a really, it's a really good spoken word play on race. Um, so moving on, <laughs> um, I'm gonna read one of my um, poems and this is called Reboot. 
Sometimes I wish there was an off switch so I could flick my brain off to reboot so I could scan itself, so it could scan itself of viruses causing harm to myself, then switch itself back on and get back on route. But instead, my thoughts build up and build up, buzzing their way through my brain, beating myself up constantly and questioning whether I'm going insane. The mind is a puzzling phenomenon, capable of extraordinary things, changing memories, lying to ourselves about what's really fact and imagining what our futures may bring. So we must always be sure to study our thoughts because they may not always be true. They could be something completely made up. The thoughts could be deceiving you. And my final piece is, let me just find it. Um, where is it? Yes. Um, so this one's called Bestseller. I was once a brand new book on a shelf, with fresh smelling pages like the others, bound together, unable to be read, longing for a chance to be uncovered. But now this book's been opened up, my binding unraveled, my spine cracked, you filled my pages with the affection I, la I lacked accidentally ripping them but putting them back together, taking me out and protected me in snow and stormy weather, folded my corners to take a break but promise me you'll always come back, scribbled notes between my lines to ensure we both keep on track. Sometimes you've even soaked me with several coffee spills, yet chosen me and held me tight when wandering up the hills. My words you'll treasure forever. My presence will always be there. Together we'll stay through thick and thin. Our feelings will always be shared. I know you'll never get bored of me and put me back on the shelf because I'll always be your bestseller in sickness and in health. That was bestseller. That's all I got. Thank you. Sensational. Thank you so much for that, Kaylee. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful words. Oh, never disappoint. Never disappoint. Thank you so, so much. And um, I'm sure we will see you again soon. And hopefully at uh, an Inverse event as well. <laughs> yeah, come yeah, join us, Kaylee. Come join us. We don't bite. We're all very well. <laughs> all right. Take care, Kay. See you soon. Thanks for having me. Bye. Right. Pete, who have we got now? Oh, we have a wonderful man for you next. We do. He's known as Mr. Nomfom, but between me and him, he's also called Naman. But he's, honestly, check him out. He's also into tickling the ivories like me. So, you know, he's, and he's one of the first poets like I met with, along with Declan and all of that. And he's just, honest, you're feeling, man. He resonates, love. He just Why oozes it. Out? That's some uh, some beautiful praise, Pete, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. And then thank you, Bailey. Like I've, I've seen your Instagram posts a lot, but I've never actually joined uh, Drink the Ink. So I'm loving the energy, man. This is amazing. Yeah, no, it'll be, um, it'll be brilliant. Well, I'll leave you and Pete to it, and then uh, nope. can't see what you what you've got um, in store for us today. Sure, you know sure. Yes, Naman. <laughs> Easy. You're all right. I'm good, man. Good. You know what? It's funny. I literally just finished cooking now, so like, I'm looking a bit scruffy, and I made a chicken chicken pie. But I know you're on the vegan flex, so yeah. So I said, I'm, I'm, send me some so vegan recipes, and and, uh, and I'll start cooking them, man. I've got some good ones. It's just purely because I'm a fat man, and like, mm -hmm. I have, like, if I, if it's the only lifestyle that makes sense for me. Otherwise, I, I just go big because you know. <laughs> well, if it works for you, know, that's that's the main thing, man. It does, it does. But yeah, what 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 have you got for us? What have you been writing? What have you been doing? Man, if I'm honest with you, I just got a new microphone. So I've just been trying to work on like, it's one thing performing on stage and it's another getting that perfect take. And I'm getting used to like, okay, it wasn't that great there. Let's start again, again, again. So I'm just trying to get used to, you know, recording professionally now, nice. uh, which I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying. And um, uh, final question. Did you steal, borrow the webcam from your work? I I did not because I I don't know I had a moral uh, 
choice to make either set up this computer classroom with the webcam they need or take it for my own selfish game and uh, my moral compass won in the end <laughs> I, I knew it would i knew when you told me i knew it would <laughs> i was planning I to return it on monday but i was like nah i can't i can't <laughs> <laughs> so all right then come and tell us stuff tell us whatever you're going to do do it for us now yeah yeah, yeah. so uh this piece it's not even got a uh, name but it comes from a very strong feeling of regret. So looking back and being like, nah, you know what? I was wrong for that one. So I'm gonna start you off this minute. I know most of it by heart, but I've got the iPad here just in case. I never knew the implications of judging another man's beliefs or occupations on till I had it done to me. And now I know how it would feel to be of the supposed enemy. You see, up until now, I'd lived with a closed mind. So it came as a shock when I found out I had been belied. How heartbreaking it must have been knowing I didn't commit a sin. Yet the eyes of the others spread the lies that reinforced the ties of the verbal ropes that were causing my demise. But how could I ask for refuge when I was the one that caused the feud? And now the tables are turned. I didn't like how my own actions had caused a burn. You see, this is what you call a turning point. When you look back at your life and you think, what was the point? You look back at the meaningless pleasure you gained from causing such pain and think, what was the point? I'm not innocent. I've done a whole load of wrong, and most of it comes from the feeling of wanting to belong, but that's not an excuse. That's hardly a reason to explain the abuse. You see, my weapons weren't physical, they were verbal. My words were horrible and caused a lot of damage to someone's internal self-belief and self-esteem, and now it seems they can't even look at me on the streets. And if our eyes accidentally met, mine would meet theirs with a the look of regret, but their eyes would reply with something more of hatred and fear and... None of that is a surprise. I've tried my best to change my ways, hoping it would bring me better days. And yes, yeah, great to have seen the light. But that doesn't stop the fact that I have sleepless nights knowing that a good chunk of my life involved me being far from right. My wrongs have been written down by the divine pen, and that's something I have to live with. And as I look back with a heavy heart, I can't help but hate the fact that I turned on those who loved me from the start. And if I'm ever in a position where no one favours me or for my good deeds, I'm never accredited, then I wish to never complain because you reap what you sow. And this is what I set myself up for when I was kicking people that were already low. I pray that I'm forgiven for all the pain that I caused and I shouldn't lose hope in the mercy of my Lord. But if the people I neglected and bullied don't forgive me, then I'm scared that at the end of my life awaits the same amount of misery that I caused. So that's, that's, that's the first one. Have I got... Uh, time for like a one minute piece. <laughs> yes, you do, mate. Oh my god, <laughs> yes, you do. Come on. I know, right? I know. I know. You and your divine pen. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So this one's called cool. You Were Never Around When I Was Younger. Bismillah. Confidence that never existed. Resistance to efforts that needed persistence. The social anxiety also assisted the factors that made me want to stay inside as a recluse. Introverted, awkward young man with everything to lose but nothing to prove. I never actually tried hard in school. Genuinely thought I was a fool. All because I followed the rules but never at home. I just wanted to play games on my phone. I used to think I'd never be able to look people in the eyes. I spent my nights staring up at the stars in the sky. I wanted to drift away like a cloud and everyone around me was always so loud. My voice was something I hadn't yet found. I never liked being in the middle of a crowd or being surrounded in an environment so profound. And I was always overshadowed. My dreams had been shallowed from seeing the talents of my peers. You see, they were like superheroes and I was the civilian. My abilities amounted to zero whilst theirs were reaching millions. I always had dreams of standing up from the stage. Not afraid to say the, the things I'd written down on a page. But when the time came to actually sh showcase myself, I ran away from the spotlight. I used my humour to help soften the blow that came with this self-consciousness that nullified my confidence. What if they don't hear my words? What if they laugh at how I speak? It's not yet my turn. I'll do it for sure next week. But next week never came. Instead, I was left with a passive-aggressive rage that helped me that helped me to attain a burning desire to put myself out there and well. Now I'm here. <laughs> and that's me. Oh, I just oh. smacked my hand. <laughs> I, 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 I hear your words. Thank you very much, oh, baby. Chat was going off. The private chat was going off. The <laughs> yeah. 
YouTube chat was chat was coming off. I was getting private chat uh, messages. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Very yeah. humble by you. I knew it. I knew it. And I oh. love the twist on the. I've been there. No, what if mm. they hear me? What if they reject mm. me? All that mm. self doubt and self obsession. I always tell people like, just do it. Go to go to an event that's not in your local area because no one knows you. And if you mess up, oh, big deal. They'll never see you again. It don't matter. It don't go to the next event. <laughs> well, thank you just so much. Look after yourself. Well, thank you very much oh, for having me. Love, love. Thank you so Take, much. Care. Take care. Right. Okay. Well, from one divine pen uh, to another, we are going to be introduced to, I think, an act you've seen uh, before, Pete. It is Jamie oh, yeah. Tyree, um, someone who I think is an absolute class act. Um, and I think there's nothing more to be said. So uh, Jamie joins us now. Um, hello. Oh, oh, there we um, go. Uh, there we go. Hello. How are you? I'm, I'm very well. Thank you. Yourself. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the Inverse. This is amazing. Well, welcome. Ooh, I just need to get behind. Oh. Is it go. all right if we just hit it, J uh, Jamie, then, uh, with all yeah. your stuff and uh, show us what you got? Yeah, yeah, bear, bear with me. I've also got a new light, which I'm, like, trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, vanity. Um, okay, this is a a new poem. Uh, if I can do two, two poems, uh, that would be great. Um, one you've heard before, and this is a new one, which... Is a different version to the one to, to how it came out on Sunday, last Sunday. Amazing. Well, Jamie, whenever you're ready, take Thank it away. I can see you. Will you hear it from me? I can no longer stand by. Will you hear my voice with yours? For fear of being found, for fear of being blamed, too long have I stood by and said, in my brownness, in my whiteness, in my shame, thank God, not me. Will you hear it from me? I want to hold you and tell you you matter. You matter in this place, beyond the shame, beyond the blame. A place where my life matters when your life matters. A place where freedom comes, where I can see you. And I can see them. Where you can see you. And I can see me. Can you hear that? It's the low notes. It's the call from the gut that starts from the earth and flies to the air. It's the low blows, the punch to the gut, the blood on the earth that screams in the air. It's the long march, each person moving forward, both feet on the earth, one song in the air. It's the long stand against what's accepted, one knee on the earth, one fist in the air. Okay, that's the first one. Um, and then there is When This Is Over, which uh, I haven't played for this one. When this is over, when the numbers have fallen, when we can give our neighbors a hug, when we can kiss our grandparents on both cheeks like they do in Rome, when we can whisper to our parents and our children, I love you, in their ear. When the sound of children playing is coming from the schoolyard. When my neighbor in her blue uniform can finally smile. Someone baked her a cake last week. I made her a curry and felt bad that she had her pudding before her mane. When this is over, I'll know her name. When this is over, can you imagine the celebration of the simple things? The party in the street rejoicing in holding hands, standing side by side. The festival we will have after stockpiling love, hoarding kisses and hamstering embraces, and dancing like no one is watching in full sight. Thank you very much. Wow, well, thank you. Thanks for that, Jamie. Oh, my God. Everyone's uh, uh, popping off on the private chat saying, oh, my God, this voice. Oh, my God, this voice. <laughs> uh, right. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you for having me on the Inverse and Drink the Ink. It's amazing to, to witness all this talent and all these all this ideas coming through. 
It's always wow. a pleasure. And uh, I'm sure uh, we'll find you Pete getting you on the universe as well. <sighs> yeah. Come join us. We'll do, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That your universe, like you just did, it was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jamie. You look after yourself, all right? And we'll you see too. you soon. Cheers, Bailey. Yeah. Bye, bye. Right. Bye. Okay. Um, it's going to be a quick drink the ink back to back, and then we'll have an universe back to back. Um, so up next, it's uh, Georgia Chowdhury, and yes, yeah, she is bye -bye back uh, to try and light and make us all feel quite inadequate because this is another one that's absolutely sensational. Uh, she joins us now. Uh, hello. Hello, it's a new platform. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> we all are. We all are, Georgia. We all are. Hi, both. How are we doing? Doing all right. Doing all right. It's going all right, isn't it, Pete? So far, nothing's crashed. Crashed. Touch wood. Acts are great. <laughs> this isn't word. I don't know why I hit it. Um, <laughs> right. I have brought my normal anger. Um, I tried right, to bring some romance this week, and there was none. It's all anger. Um, and I found a poem that I wrote months ago now, um, and I've dug it back out with a couple of word changes and a new title. So this is Windrush to My Quiet White Village. How are we still functioning? How are we still going about our day? How is this possible? I want to collapse. This country should be exploding. This county should be exploding. This village should be imploding. This evil is unfathomable. And yet it is the reality. Who next? What next? Who will they displace next? What will they destroy next? Will you wait? Will we all just sit back and wait until they come for us? How many lives do they have to destroy before we act? Why are you not enraged? Your tweets are not action. Where are your protests? Where is your screaming in the streets? You, my quiet white village, should be rioting. The collective mor morality of this country has failed. The collective morality of this county has failed. The collective morality of this tiny, quiet white village has failed. I would ask you all to bow your heads in shame, but what a waste of energy. I want you all to raise your heads, raise your hands, raise your voices and scream. 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 Um, and carrying on in my normal angry style and for some reason, again, on the theme of villages, um, this is Execute the Village Idiot. Make no mistake, this is a call to arms. Let the same narrator who told Jane to stop tearing at her feathers choose his, yes, his, words carefully. Do you mean to tell me that had he, yes, he, been granted with a little more wisdom, his argument might be a little more valid? Oh. Let him, yes, him, lock Kate in his cage and train her like a mutt. But make no mistake, sir, this is my battle cry. Did you think Miranda would love you before you killed her? She will not, and we will not. In this story, sir, yes, sir, your wisdom is not considered. Jane is no bird. Your tweeting is dull and contained in a bell jar. Katie will chew through your iron bars and Miranda will bludgeon you with a butterfly wing and walk away free. Make no mistake, this is a massacre. I have no patience left for your narration. I do not ask for a happy ending now, sir. I wish to execute my own climax. This story ends here, as do you, sir. And then I have written what was less a poem and more of a speech, but became sort of a mix of both, which I wrote directly to some friends, um, which then left its small community and has become a little bit bigger. So this is happy pride. Happy pride.
Firstly, let's remember that the first brick thrown at the Stonewall riots was by a black trans woman. Now let's remember, there are still countries around the world where a person can be executed by hanging and by stoning for being gay. There are still countries around the world where a person can be tortured, beaten and whipped for being gay. There are over 60 countries where being gay is a criminal offence and carries prison time. If you thought the UK was much better, it was illegal to be gay here until 1967. That's within most of our parents' lifetimes. In England, we only achieved the right to marry in 2014. In Northern Ireland, this right has only existed for five months. Every day we hear people cry, oh, why can't there be a straight pride? And every day we hear people say, oh, I don't mind that they're gay, but do they have to do it around me? Pride is not a dress up party sponsored by Delta Airlines or Barclays. Pride is a protest. And this year, we might not gather in large groups in Trafalgar Square or on Brighton Beach to celebrate, but this year we will remember that we have pride now because of the courage of black leaders who were queer and who were trans. But this year, I hope we take all that energy and all this anger and all this love that we use to fight for our right to exist, I hope we take all of that and we use it to fight for the rights of black lives. If you can't shout that Black Lives Matter today, then how can you say Happy Pride tomorrow? So while you paint your rainbows on your face and wear your glitter on your body, remember, Pride was a riot. Pride is a protest. Black Lives Matter. Happy Pride. Woo! Oh, you know how to hit us with it, don't you? Woo! Okay, yeah. okay. That was incredible. Passionate yeah. truths. Uh, you know me. I'm never not angry. Yeah, well, we the anger, the anger is all we. That's that's what we want. That's what we need. It's amazing. Oh, blood's flowing right now. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, Georgia. Thank you for Thank having you, me. Georgia. Thank, you. Thank you. Catch you soon. Right. Okay. From one uh, drink being back to back, we now go to an inverse uh, back to back. Uh, who's up first, Pete? Ah, oh, up first is Savelle Cunningham. She's amazing. She writes books, she does talks, and she'll come and disturb me while I'm playing table tennis, and I don't mind because it's her. So, yeah, Savelle is amazing. Honestly, is she there? Is she waiting? I think, Savelle, are you there? She might be tuning on at the moment, but not in the chat. Let's give it just a few ticks and then let's see oh. if we Kitty's up next. And Kitty's, I think, raring to go. Oh, Kitty's there, is she? Yeah, Kitty's there. Just oh, come. Should, we... should we do Kitty and then uh, um, let Savelle come in in a bit? Yeah, okay. Well, listen, you're you lot are about to get some absolute auricular treat here. You're you're going to be hit with harmonies. When I first heard Kitty, I fell in love with that voice. It was like, oh. So you, you just wait and see. So well, let's, let's, let's bring on Kitty. Yeah, Kitty's there. Just well, Kitty, and then uh, um, let's come in a bit. Kitty, yeah, can you hear me? You're going to be hit with harmonies. When I first heard Kitty, I felt like that voice. Kitty, give us a lot of scene. So let's bring on Kitty. Kitty's there. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you stop the live stream, yeah, Kitty? Can you stop the live stream, Kitty? Um, I can only hear you through the iPad, so I don't know if you can hear me or not. We can hear us talking to you. Very delayed. Yeah, there's the YouTube, and then there's us. Can you, stop the, can you stop the YouTube live? There's two things going on. Yeah, can you stop the live stream, yeah, got you, got you, got you. Yeah. Couldn't hear it because it was scary. Um, I'll leave you oh, This is weird. I can't hear you though. You can. Can you hear me now? No? Okay, well, look. Yeah, I literally don't. I can't hear you at all, so I'm just going to go for it.
take away my thoughts? Can I keep them at bay? Such a beautiful world, but am I blind? If I looked into the shadows, what would I find? So people so gullible, these human beings. In this world, people work so hard to impress, lead us stress behind, liberate your mind. Oh, 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 rise of love. What did you think I'd do? Fall down in front of you. It's not part of my plan. It doesn't matter who you think I am. Cause the truth's right there in my hands. Am I wrong to search for the good in everyone? Tell me things that I just can't believe. We're in thoughts running through my mind all the time. Like, oh, am I really that naive? Oh, is this real? Or do you show on me? Are you who you've created? Got me questioning if things are what they see. Does it really matter? Oh, what does it mean? Maybe I think too much, but maybe I, maybe I, maybe I rise above. What did you think I'd do? Fall down in front of you. It's not part of my plan. It doesn't matter who you think I am. Cause the truth's right in my mind. Oh, 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 Don't need no questions, don't need no answers, don't need no opinion, I'm so over that. Don't need no judgments, don't need no opinions, don't need no questions, I'm so over that. Don't need no judgments, don't need no opinions, don't need no questions, don't need no judgments, don't need no opinions, don't need no, I am so over there. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Hey, Kitty, you sound great, but you can't hear me. You can't hear me. You can't hear me at all. Oh, my God, it's Bye, everyone. Thanks. Me. Thank you very much. Look after yourself. Okay. All right, Pete. Well. I know. She blows me away, honestly. You've been office, haven't you? Blue neck. Yeah. <laughs> she's entrancing, honestly. Just that voice. Well, look. Look, look who's up next? Because, um. Is she, yeah. is she in the room now? Is the girl in the room now? Is it the room? Yay. I'm here. Yay. Yay. Hello. Hello. I'm knocking at the door. It wouldn't let I me. Know. Too I many people now. Uh, guys, those are who are in here, um, if you've already been or you're a little bit later, I'll have to kick you out and you'll have to go on the YouTube, uh, on the YouTube live if that's all right. 
Thank you. Seeing the thumbs. Absolutely fantastic. Awesome. Well, Pete, everyone, take it away. Savelle. Hi, Pete. Do you right? I am all right. I miss you disturbing my table tennis games. <laughs> oh, it all, it all happens soon. Lockdown will be lifted. I know. I've been playing sneaky table tennis, me. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, two metres apart and all. Table exactly. tennis table. Yeah. Not, not yeah. that I have to justify myself to the world. But anyway, <laughs> how are you? I'm well. I'm really good. Really good. Yay. It's so nice to see you. And I was so I was so glad that you wanted to uh, come on here. And mm. I remember your book's launch. We I performed at your book launch. It was amazing. And I highly recommend everyone checks out your book, Marshalled in the Ranks. Oh, look at that. It's right <laughs> there. I'll tell you what. I'll shut up. You tell us stuff. Right, beautiful. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Savelle. I've got three poems. Hopefully there's a time for three poems, one slightly long and two very short ones. Um, I was going to share a particular poem, but my daughter said I need to retire it, given the times that we're in. So I won't be sharing that. So I'll be sharing some different flavours. And the first one's called Dreams. Dreams. A place we go to rest our blurry eyes. Uninvited guests permeate unlocked minds. Strangers are our guides, enemies, faithful friends, co-workers, lovers. Questions, answers, transposed. Unfamiliar rooms with a familiar wisdom. Distance is not distant. Instant travel without the travel. Past people in a present state. Emotions cling to moisten, moisten our eyes. Laughing without the punchline, imprinting us with a smile. We wake from our dreams with a definite knowing, only to forget the silent blessing. And the next one is called All the World's a Stage. Given the way that things are, it seems like um, there's a movie being played out in front of us, but in real time. So this one's All the World's a Stage. All the World's a Stage. And if we took a moment to pause, would you recognize the drama unfolding before us or even the parts we play? Maybe you've noticed the protagonist or understudy waiting for the opportunity to take center stage. The antagonist constantly pushing and pulling, creating imbalance where it never existed, extinguishing lives to warrant their own existence. The subjugator in the guise of the protector, creating an illusion of security and freedom, stifling gifts of talents because they do not fit the formal rules of knowledge acquisition. What if these rules are now outdated and where the ones are already born, not with an elevated way of thinking and learning, but experiencing and expressing? All the world's a stage, those given parts to play all things materialistic, True wealth isn't something you buy. It comes in ties of total abundance, of watchful integrity and force of wisdom and absolute contentment. The whole world's a stage with many parts to play. The mother, the child, the mild. Murderer, slaughterer, jury, judge and wild. The sick, the carer, the friend, the lover, the riled. When will we wake up, throw off the disguise and break through the defence, see things as they truly are? The whole world's a stage in constant play, producer, director, lines voiced in perfect links connecting time. What if you all shouted, stop? Would we love those we've just hated? Embrace the extras for parts that were just as talented? Give credit where credit's due, no need for an Oscar BAFTA or Grammy or two. Who would you be without the armour of the actor? The whole world's a stage, wrapped in a forgotten play called Pretense. It's just a facade with the real world behind, waiting for the curtain to fall and the audience to rise. And the last one is called Earth Rising, I think I'll do. Let me two seconds and maybe another one here. Uh, do, 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 do. No, I'll do I'm not me. I awoke this morning to realize I was not me. I'd become the son you were expecting to see. The brother my siblings decided would utilize their needs. The frightened husband your fairy tale mind decreed. A despondent father, a split personality, accommodating childhood greed. A worker entailed within a mass, 
furnished in a constant bleed. I awoke this morning searching for me. Thank you. Yes, Savelle, you, you, you give us like prophetic words. I wish well, I rushed them a bit. I should say them slower, really. You say them absolutely beautifully and the, you, they're just very meaningful. They, they make me contemplate and think about things. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, like even Jamie's comment there. No, fantastic. Thank you so, so much. Oh, thank you so much for coming on Drink thank the Ink. Thank, thank you. Good to see you, Stavell. Hi. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye. Right. Oh, my goodness. It's going all right, isn't it, Pete? It's, it is. You know, oh, uh, I'm a little bit late, guys, but it's it's going. It's quite fluid. It's quite nice. We're catching up with time. Yeah. yeah. Time's going to continue without us anyway. So we're doing all right. Yeah, we're doing all right. Right. Just looking at where we're at. Up next, we have uh, uh, Jeffrey Punter, who is an Aura Foundation student, and he joins us uh, here uh, tonight. Just trying to find him. And here he is. Hello. Hello, everyone. Great Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Drink the Ink, the Universe. Forgot words. So exciting for me. Wow, it's the first time I ever do something the like, so it's really great for me. And I'm in Switzerland, by the way, at the moment, so it's really cool also, you know, to, to be able to share this from so far away. It's really exciting. Hey. Lovely to connect. So what, what, what have you got for us uh, this evening? Great. So I would like to share a little sweet short poem with you. And actually, it is a poem which uh, I actually rewrote. And the first time I've written it was a very long time ago. It was like uh, when I was perhaps 16 or 17 years old and I was a high school student. And I had, had a bit of a crisis. Yeah, it's basically a, a study of loneliness. Amazing. Well, whenever you're ready, take it away. Take it away. Great, amazing. <clears throat> I'm between people, but still, I feel alone. I wasn't told, but still, I look rude. I changed my group, but I'm the same. I look out, no one picks back. Solo in mezzo alla gente. Ci faccio tutto e niente. Cambio sempre il mio gruppo e mi piace, purtroppo. I smile every morning, but still I feel cold. I stop to greet everyone, but still I walk alone. I share my homework. But still, I look up events, but still in my bedroom. Non che socializzare non sia per me del fare. Non riesco ad andare in fondo in questo vostro mondo. E allora, che altro dovrei fare? Non mi resta altro che... Sognare? I try anything, but still, I'm not part of the world. Thank you very much, everybody. Oh, uh, thanks for that. I think there was, um, we heard your lovely word. There was a slight delay uh, allowed at one point, but um, loved it. Thank you so much for sharing. Great, I'm glad that at least the, the voice was working. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you look after yourself, all right? And then um, I'm sure we'll be Thank you very much for having me. Great time. Take care. Thank you again. It was really an honor. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Right, let's see if Pete's there because it came up with a black screen. I think. I think can you means... hear me? I can hear you. What, 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 where's, where's your face gone? I don't where's know. You... It should be. Let me stop and start the camera. Wait. Oh, oh, saw something. No. Oh, no. no. Oh, you've got to love technology. We'll see how it goes in a bit. Right, anyways, do you want to introduce the next act? And then we'll see in between this act if we can uh, uh, fix this camera problem. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, just well, look at me. I'm like 
big black space at the moment, you know. I'm just like the void of existence. Uh, it's quite exciting. Uh, let me but let me make Michael feel a bit better so he can see me. There you go, like in a sort of sense. So up next we have Mr. Michael Early. He's part of a wonderful uh, band called uh, Kadama. I said it right, Mike. Yes, P. Yeah, you did. People yeah, to learn. Matt, uh, Matt, life today. <laughs> Matt, Matt Fleming got it right on music and words last night as well. So it was. It's we're getting evidently we're getting as famous as we'd like to be. Two people know no one ain't that. Hey, but how are you, my man? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Yeah. How how are you? How are you guys doing? I'm still very like in awe of your the way you play guitar and sing songs. So <laughs> Thank you know. I'm I'm still getting um I'm still getting used to um to singing um I I was I was sending Jamaica some videos last night of um, me singing some songs and she convinced me that maybe I'm not as terrible at it as I think so I thought it's I thought usually just a little good. critic inside our minds that tells us yeah. that <laughs> yeah exactly well let's hit it then shall we looking forward yeah, to hearing yeah, sure. hear from you all right cool yeah this song's called Reflections. It's been so long, man, since I've seen you smile. Time's a healer, but it's been a while. The brave face and the talk don't suit.
I, I swear to God, stop telling people you can't sing. Yeah, just stop it. <laughs> yeah, come on, man, that was brilliant. That was Thank brilliant. You very much, guys. Have we got um? Have we got time for another one, or do we need to keep it keep it moving? I think is it. Are you are you are you free later to do another song? Yeah, yeah, of course I can stick. Fantastic. Is that all right? And then we can do a little closing of the show, and we'll have a bit more of your music. Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. Fantastic. Awesome. We will see you later on. Thank you so much. Love you. Sensational. See you later. Bye bye. Right, Pete. Oh my goodness. Still again with this absolute wave of. It's just, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to tell you something right now. Um, you've seen uh, Central CDT uh, students um, uh, come on some of my Drink the Ink events, but now we have a surge of them who are who are going to be taking over um, yet again tonight. Uh, we have Sebastian Slade and Catherine Ashdown who will be performing. Um, and I'm very excited to uh, meet new people because I know that Kieran um is tuning in on this as well and he recommended them so i think without further ado sebastian slade is up so sebastian are you are you there hello hello how are you doing very well how are you hello welcome welcome how are you doing thank you very much yeah i'm good how are you guys yeah yeah, yeah. brilliant oh look there's kieran let's just put that on there fantastic thanks mate uh, thank yeah. you for the kieran he emailed me earlier today and I, well, early in the week, and asked if I wanted to do it, and obviously I thought I've watched I've watched it all tonight. It's been brilliant. So it's brilliant. Well, thank yeah. you so much. What, what, yeah, uh, you guys are doing a really good job. Yeah, what have oh, you, you man? What have you got in store uh, with us uh, for this evening? Um, well, basically, obviously, these last few weeks have been you know a bit of a bit of a whirlwind. Um, you know, with the with the, the everything that's happened, with, you know, the George Floyd and all that sort of business. Um, so basically. Um, I, I I did I felt like I was a bit useless. I couldn't, I not really, couldn't really do anything. Um, I felt very a bit sort of you know useless. So I, I started I started writing. I've been writing poetry for a little bit, a little bit of spoken words. Um, so I just yeah. wrote uh, a little something for for people like me from my own situation. You know, I grew up in a farm in Devon, so yeah. miles away from the city. You don't really see many people of colour, so I don't hear about these 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 things happening. So. Since moving to London a few years ago, it's sort of, you know, it's been a big eye opener that, that you know, there's, there's a lot that's going on, a lot of, you know, systemic racism and racism still going on that people don't talk about. Um, so I wanted to do something just to address uh, the white community. Amazing. Well, whenever you're ready, the floor is give yours. Give us you. Give us you. Sorry, yeah, I've, I've got it on my phone. It's not fully learned yet, but um, I know most of it. It's called Behind Closed Doors. As a white man sitting here, I have the right to fight for what I believe in without scrutiny or bias. No one will question me whether I deserve to be here or see me as a threat towards their livelihood, and you shouldn't, that's correct. Well done, this has been fun, I'm just gonna run along. No harm done. But you see, because racism doesn't affect me, when I walk into a room, I have the freedom to be whomever I want without expectation. And this generation likes to think they're so woke. You know, look at me, I've got black friends. Does that mean I can say the N word whilst we sit around and pretend that we understand? Because that's all we can do, right? Or, yo, my man, Tyrone, do you think you know someone who might, you know, sort me out? It's just I'm not from around here and I don't usually, but you, you must know someone who. And to be totally honest, I spent a long time being completely oblivious of this social hideousness, you know, in the name of ethnic banter, or multicultural banter, and that's all it is. It's English. Look at me, I'm English, and I don't wish to upset anyone, but deep down, you're scared to admit that you could be the culprit. So you look at the news, you look at his shoes, look at that black kid, all battered and bruised. But what did he do? Ah, he must have done something. No, that's just an excuse that's being used to justify this abuse. So you hashtag, retweet, I'm not racist, repeat, repeat, and you keep telling yourself that you're not part of the problem. But when was the last time you heard someone at work say a racial slur or something absurd that something inside you suddenly stirred just a little? And it could be something so fickle you wouldn't bat an eye or, or maybe you tried, but let's face it, that's a lie, isn't it? You probably just laughed along, put on a song. Ah, 
Ah, this one's a banger. I love this one. You see, the culture is there for us to exploit when it's convenient so that we can disassociate ourselves from it when we want. We can pick and we can choose because we have nothing to lose. We can rise up and fight back without being shot. That's a fact. But I wonder what would happen if my skin was black or brown. And now you may think I'm preaching to the converted, but there are masses of people left feeling deserted by the country they call home. So if you're sat at home on your own, pick up your phone or open a book and have a quick look at what we can do to help because we must help. And although it may seem easy to ignore these people, we're the only ones who can do something for these people. Sorry, I've lost my hand. For these people. We can no longer hide behind the idea that it's not happening here. Because if you prick up your ears, it becomes quite clear that this is merely the tip of the iceberg. And there is racism submerged in our culture so deep underneath that we can barely see it anymore. You know, it's behind closed doors, like the scratching of chalk on a board. We have etched our legacy, but our legacy is flawed. We kill for sport. When one team has the ball, the other can't score. And see, with power comes responsibility. So if you take a look at our history, it's easy to see that it's not up to the oppressed to be fighting this mess, but rather for us to recognise that we're not doing enough. And I say we because we as a white community have a choice to exercise our voice and be heard or to stand aside. Walk on by so that we can deny that people are dying. And children are crying. So let's stop playing this game of Shifting the blame. Let's do something useful. Let's say his name. Thank you. Sorry, I lost my way a little bit there. I lost my words. No, oh, man. That was absolutely oh, super. Potent. Thank you. Potent. What's, what's the elephant's name? Ah, oh, I, I thought you weren't supposed to address the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is always, always the elephant in the room. Uh, it's called Nelly. Uh, it's very, very good. Very oh, fantastic. That was brilliant. Thank you. I just thought, you know, it's quite easy to. I just I thought I wanted to just sort of do something, put my voice out there. So. It was beautiful. Very, very, yeah, very well expressed. Yeah. yeah thank you. Yeah, that was amazing. Thank you. I'm definitely going to pop you and. I'm sure our next guest um, will be just as an, an, uh, sensational. But um, fantastic, Catherine. Yeah, fantastic. I'm definitely, definitely going to pop you an email after this. Uh, oh, thank you. I'll see you soon. All right, take care. Right. right. Okay. Well, um, Pete. Um, yeah, CDT takeover yet again. The chat is yet again flying off. Um, oh, no. It is Catherine Ashdown. So I think we should just leave it and let her see what she's got for us. So Catherine joins us now. Hello. 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 Can you hear? Hello. <laughs> we can hear and yeah, see you. Sorry, I'm just sorting out my camera. There we go. Cool. On it. Absolute light. Hello. Great as well. Hello. Welcome to uh, Drink the Ink the Universe. Thank you. It's good to be here. It's It's been sick so far. So welcome. Welcome. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, look, look. I've seen Kieran done his stuff, seen Sebastian done his stuff. And, oh, I can't wait to see another central person just absolutely smash it. So I think. Oh, <laughs> We just leave it and uh, leave Catherine to do what she does best. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Catherine, take it away. Thank you. Um, okay, so my first poem is called Underwater Sundays. Um, it's basically about those kind of Sundays that just get you down. And I think around the world, everyone's having those Sundays almost every day at the moment. So, um, yeah, here we go. Underwater Sundays. My days are mostly sunny now, but the sun sometimes disappears behind the clouds, as it has. And what surprise, it's a Sunday. The day a strange mist lands on the mind. When all is quiet, something undefined creeps in. A little of the past, the trauma almost forgotten, but Sundays, shitty Sundays, bring them into light. All the worries of the week seem to reach their peak on the shitty Sunday evening and the weather always seems to reflect that feeling. You know the feeling. Underwater. Closed off and floating just above yourself. 
that disconnection that is so much more than just sad. The dangerous nostalgia of being underwater. And it will pass as Sundays pass. But those shitty Sundays with their strange mists landing take me in their waves and I do all I can do to breathe in the deep blue. That's underwater Sundays for you. Cool. Um, I've also got another one, if we've got time. It's pretty, pretty fast. Um, this one's called Try to Work Me Out. Go on. Um, it didn't really have a title. I just made that up, but it's the first word, line of the poem, so it works. Um, but yeah, this is about when you first meet someone. And I kind of had this thing about relationships. How can they really understand you and just how that works? Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead. Try to work me out. Go on. I want to hear how you think this mind works. You think, me, you think you have me figured out, but here in my heart it's unpredictable because I am complex, irresistible, intricate and obscure. My perplexing, puzzling, paradoxical brain concurs that it will never stop fizzing away in my head. Try to work me out. Go on. I want to hear how you plan to incite me and entrap me, make me feel how I've never felt before because I don't believe you and therefore this theory you seem so sure on. Try to work me out. Go on. I want to hear how you can dismantle my depressive thoughts into progressive beliefs and put a smile on my face just for a brief period or just with a sec for a second, you say, with a wink. Try to work me out. Go on. I want to hear the kinks you think I think about when I'm alone or what you think turns me on to think about when I'm thinking alone because how can you know? When no one truly understands another's grief, love and mind, another's choice, passion and fire, another's words, rhythm and smile. Because you can't. You can try. And I'd like to see you try. Because it, it's, it excites me and, and hopefully you'll give me insight into the one confusing, combusting, confounding, conscious, unconscious part of me. Try to work me out. Go on. And we're done. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, wow. That was fire. fire. That was just fire. Pure flame <laughs> from the TDT. Yeah. Come on. The, the, the imagery, oh, the way you, 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 you paint pictures in my brain. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you yeah. so much, Catherine. And I'm going to definitely, no. I've been popping messages to uh, Kieran and everyone, but I'm definitely going to try and get you um, all uh, uh, on the 20th on the event, but I'll keep you posted and yeah. definitely going to try and get you in the universe as well. All right. Yeah. So Thank you, you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. No problemo. Look after yourself. <laughs> Bye -bye. Thank you. Yeah, see you. Right, Pete, who have we got up next? Oh, uh, we should have. Waiting in the wings. We should have Gabby. Is Gabby there? Oh my god, she's lit. Oh, she's so <laughs> lit. Oh, Gabby. Gabby. Yeah. You are everyone. Yeah. 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 Hi. Oh, it's good it's to be really here. Everyone like, yeah, like with I saw Gabby at the universe that I went to on Wednesday, which I thought was amazing. And I found out it was only a private one. So like Pete, Pete's stuff is hot, let's just put it that way. But Gabby. Can't swear because this is this is streaming as well, not just on YouTube. But this is absolutely you're amazing. Anyways, Pete, oh. I'm going to go. You have a little chat, and uh, oh my god, I can't wait! I can't wait. Bye bye. Hey, all right, Gabby. Hello. I know what you're going to do right now. You do. And so you, yeah, you've heard the two poems that I'd like to share tonight already, they're, they're... Um, but I don't think there's any harm in hearing them again. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm I'm ready. I know what's coming. No one else does. Yeah, they're in for a proper little treat. Yeah, or a huge treat, not little, massive. Yeah, so Gabby, it's so wonderful to see you tell us stuff. I will do. Thank you. So um, actually, in the last couple of days, I've decided to kind of solidify my poet persona. Um, and so my nickname is Gabby, but I've decided that my poet name will be Gabrielle, which is my actual name, um, yeah. in a way to kind of return to my, my roots or my authentic self. Um, 
So yeah, what I'm what I'm going to share tonight is really uh, well two yeah. poems that just were kind of uh, I guess they're just my way of making sense of the world around me at the moment, um, touching upon the kind of narrative that's in society at the moment. So the first poem um, yeah. is called "With Every Book on Her Bookcase." Yeah, it's funny because I put you down as Gabby, and I'm about to yeah. say. Gabby, and my mind's going, call her Gabrielle. I know. I don't know why. I don't know why. Don't know why. It's just a it's habit, isn't it? Yeah. So Great. Okay. So I'm, I'll kick off. So this first um, poem is called With Every Book on Her Bookcase. Um, so my mum raised me to read a lot of great literature um, and to know a lot about activists. And so I've decided in the past couple of weeks to return to their voices um really they're the voices that have enabled my own without them you know my voice wouldn't be heard today so with every book on her bookcase my mother being the writer she is gave me insight into my roots with every book on her bookcase poems and stories i salute it's taken some time but now we see the injustice no longer under covers dr king once had a dream a dream now shared by others. I have invisible chains not yet cast off, though I may look chainless and free. Enhance the freedom of others, said Mandela, looking beyond us and them, unity. It's easy to see black and white, but it's the gray that we must unpack. After all, we are the change that we seek, wise words once uttered by Barack. Now witnessing the latent effect of causes so long, long ago, Every day I rise, I rise, taught well by Maya Angelou. Respect, sang Miss Franklin, treating no one as an outcast. A smile, a wave, a hello, looking ahead together long at last. You are your best thing, Toni Morrison once said with pride. My aim is to believe the same as the past, present and future collide. Am I the hope of the slave? bound up in our shared humanity, carrying every gift that they gave, Desmond Tutu might well agree. There is always more justice to gain in honourable memory of the scarred. Wounded words in my heart I will utter, as James L. Jones once shared would be hard. As Lem Sesse once wisely worded, words are action indeed. We must keep writing, listening and speaking. It is us writers and poets who must lead. My mother, being the writer she is, gave me insight into my roots. With every book on her bookcase, poems and stories, I salute. So that's the first poem. Thank you for listening. And the second poem, I actually really enjoyed uh, writing. Um, I was washing my hair a couple of nights ago. And for anybody who's got an Afro um, or curly hair, it's always a, a kind of, um, a bit of a journey uh, and also I've had quite a journey with my hair to come to accept it as, as part of me um, and to really embrace it so this is called Letter to My Hair and I hope you enjoy it. We've never had it easy you and me, many a moment at the mercy of a comb, yet somehow we pulled through, got through the rough times unknotted. Back then I just wanted you to be straight with me, I mean you were relaxed for a while. Your teenage angst transitioned. You slowly grew out of it. It's natural. Your plaits are like the plates that hold my food. Bone china, strong yet delicate, standing the test of time, remarkable. I thought you were something to master, to neaten and to tame. Yet all you seek is freedom. Curly, kinky, coily afro, I embrace. Our relationship status? I'd say it's complicated. One moment I love our tangled intricacies. The next I want to break up and let you go. Close shave. I promise to treat you more kindly. Maybe caress you from time to time. Saved by coconut oil once again. The savior in our love triangle. I'll order more. Thank you. Come on, come on Gabby, come on. Oh, love it! Oh, really? <laughs> I love your mum, honestly. Uh, She's yeah. so good. 
And, I'm uh, very grateful <laughs> to be her daughter. Yeah. Oh, oh, honestly, it's just so you. There's such an in, intelligent wisdom in your words. Thank you. And thank and, you for encouraging me to join. I today. didn't do anything. I didn't do nothing. You did it. Thank you. Loving the words. Everyone's loving your words. Thank you so, so much. We'll see you thank soon. Thank you so much. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. Not right. to love, I mean, we're getting it home straight, and I think it's it's more the universe coming our way. So uh, who who who's going to be smacking us with it this time? Well, hopefully, if he's there, yeah, because he has the next two people have technical issues, and they <laughs> say it's technical, but the issue really lies within them. But it should be Brian Ball. Now Brian's not here. Okay, we then. well then it is definitely the man made of feelings. Is Mr. Feelings there, Richards? Richard is here. Look, yeah, give it up, Richards. I love this man. How are you doing, Richard? I love you too. Hello. I'm having a bit of a crisis in my life, as you know, Pete. I do, mate. I do. And listen, I, whenever you need, I'm here. And listen, everyone here is going to show you the most love that you you uh, you deserve. <laughs> Can I get these cans off? Yeah, take them off if you want. 48 years I've been with Cheryl and she's very ill at the moment. That's my situation. Mm. And it obviously imp impacts on my delivery, etc. But I've got a couple of poems I would like to do. Not, not, nothing, nothing too deep. I'm as you know, I never masquerade as a poet. I no, feel no. I don't deserve it. And so I call myself a rhymer. Right, and here comes rhyming Tyner. Well, the, you mate, you're the guy that walked in the room and I felt like I knew you, even though I didn't. <laughs> My heart's on my sleeve, mate. All right, I'm going to hand over to you. You tell us stuff. All right, this is... Um, something that I remembered from being four years old. Probably the earliest memory that I've got of me and my dad. It's called Ross Beg. Ross Beg was the little atoll that we lived on. And I think I describe it. The tide was out. I imagined a mile or more. Distance is difficult when you're age four. Keeping pace with my father across the sand, running to keep up desperate to give a hand. Marching with trousers rolled up to his knees. Seize the dear boy, let us harvest from the sea. I can remember my pride there with the dad, with a song on his lips and joy in his eyes. First he would demonstrate, then I had to go. He was like lightning, I was way slow. Into the galvanised bucket went razors galore. I counted to six. That was as far as I could go. The harvest would do for a cold winter's night, soused in white vinegar to my sister's delight, brown soda bread with butter thick spread and lashings of black tea sent us happy to bed. He had enough razors next to the meal of the day. He began looking for cockles out in the bay, black periwinkles, whelks, barnacles and mussels. He made it look easy. For me, it was a tussle. Our dad was a man with simple needs and desires, back then a small bear with a spud by the fire. With her there beside him and his children fed, a kiss on the forehead, the rosary, then to bed. Our little house with the ocean on both sides, stuck in my memory, the gales and high tides. Nothing is left to remind us we were there, as I stand at the gate, hear soft voices and stare. You see, I never open the gate or go to the door. The house is still there. But it's not ours anymore. With the ghosts of friends, I walk around my town. I'll see them again when next I'm around. And still by the sea, but this time in Cornwall. Portmere Beach, St Ives, 1am. Cold cold, ice-cold water, 
white spumes breaking on the shore. Two wraiths, iridescent, silver, shimmer, cling to each other out beyond the breakers. Held in the caress of the sea's grip, kiss and break apart and return, to shelter in each other's arms. Their perfect bodies, a moment's bliss. They will never be this beautiful again. My presence is gifted with a glimpse as they run for the shelter of the lee. Naked, I walk into the water. Gasping at the pain, I scream your name again and again and again. That's it. And that's why, why I call you Mr. Fields. That's why. Yeah, I can see why you did that. That was beautiful. Really, you're like, really. You're like a romance, romantic movie. You make me feel things I try and avoid. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, if you need someone to stand there, be awkward, take the piss with you, I'm there. And send everyone is sending you and Cheryl lots of healing love and and all the cuddles and all the from a distance that they can send. Thanks. I, I, I've got the impression that I'm the oldest guy here tonight. Uh, not with that spirit. Uh, no, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I'll hold on for the after stage party, if that's all right. <laughs> love you, man. I love you. Man. Take care. All right. Well, live an egg. I oh, know he leaves. He he, he stuns you. Yeah, remember that's the first time I've seen Richard before, and that was amazing because I had to I had to shoot off the other day, didn't I? But he was at the universe, wasn't he? He he permeates like just like he just makes me. He he said to me, "Why do people go silent after I've spoken?" I'm like, "Cause you you just messed with their insides. That's why <laughs> it's a compliment." Yeah. Um. Right. Just looking at the running order, Brian has still not been able to log on. This is a shout out to Brian. If you're able to quickly click on the link and we'll get you. He did uh, say on. his computer is, is not very good or something. And uh, so he's having issues, but he is watching, apparently. Amazing. Also, we'll see if we can um, uh, get him on in a bit. But shall we get Diamond Bavel on? Bring on the diamond. Come on, let's bring on the diamond. Diamond, are you there? He should be. Oh, Diamond. Diamond, are you there? There we go. Hello. Yes, there. I'm here. Yes. How, How are you? Doing? How is everyone? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Really excited to be in this space. And thank you to everyone who's tuning in right now and everyone who may be watching. There's going to be a recording of this, isn't there? Yeah, there'll be a recording as well. So I'll be able to So just... for everyone who's perfect, for those of you who are watching, I really, really appreciate everyone who's showed up, everyone who's actually shared the parts of themselves that maybe they wanted to just write down on paper. And to start things off with, I don't have um, anything blue or black, but I've got green, so. What's in the green, man? Just some cucumber, some lime and some apple. Oh, sounds so to good. To start off by drinking the ink. <laughs> oh god i love it what 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 have you got in store because oh my god i i think everyone's going to be in for a treat because what i saw the other day as well oh my god i felt jealous the way you were just oozing out words with people just feeding them to you thank you and we'll see if we can give that a go today as well just yeah let me know if you can still see me can you still see me I can still see you you're a bit stumped Staticky. Are you able to see or hear me? Yeah. Can hear me. Okay. Can you hear me as well. No, you're option. Just... You can see me. Well, you can see me a bit staticky, or you can give me some words. Is it okay? Can you see the live comments? Can you, okay? can you see the YouTube live comments? If I do this, so if I put Diamond Bavel, are you able to see it on the chat? Oh, he's frozen, I think. He's frozen in time. I can just go to chat and then go to live comments. Yeah, live comments. Yeah, that's fine on the YouTube. I'll post it as can well. You hit me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're a bit stuttery. Is I can see the live comments. 
Yeah, Pete, I'll get rid of myself here. You can. Right. Is it my is my voice stuttering or is it the? It's the pictures. Picture. Can you see me, right? I can't like, see you. Mate. I can't see you. I there can we see go. You. Can you see and hear me, right? Yeah. I can see and hear you all right. This is fun. This is like a bad radio connection, isn't it? So, like, so we're gonna have to go back <laughs> cut some strings soon. Oh, God. You know? Bad radio connection. Perfect. Uh, so if, and if you, for everyone who, yep, Diamond. So just quickly, if I do this here on the side, are you able to see the comments? So it's on a lemon at the moment that goes, "Haha, go, go, Bev." Can you see them as I'm posting them, or can you just see the chat already? Um, I was just looking at the chat, but if you, I can see yes, go, buddy. That's probably a delayed one there because I was just looking at the live feed from oh, yeah. the live just comments, and I can see you. all good. Just I can that. see you well. So you're gonna you click in words, yeah, and you can see it. We're all good, yeah. Yeah, I can see from the live comments. So we'll go from there, and then if anything happens, otherwise we'll just continue. Amazing. You know what, you know what Diamond? Why don't you just introduce yourself? Cool. My name is Diamond Bavel. I'm the composer of words, the creator of music. My message to the world, if you decide to use it, is that you are not alone. I express this through music, spoken word, and poetry, writing about the world around me that I see. And I'll give you a little bit of something that I prepared earlier, which is suited to these times. Black blood boils because brutality Lance's love child's life like melanin was an abscess. And as our innocent brothers took their last breath, or should we say, as our innocent brothers' last breaths were taken from them, a part of me fears what's next. And as I close my eyes, I hear And in my sleep, I see words appear. And that's a cue for you to drop words in here. As we look to maybe things that sound like a beating drum, you get goosebumps. And then sometimes we see there are some people who continue to grow on this journey. Whilst we learn more about me, but learn less about I, I'm not sure how that works exactly, but we see so many things in the sky, like twinkle twinkles and little stars, but we sometimes are unable to see that a star is what we are. As we look in this devastation and maybe see things transform, I wonder what life would be like if we just stopped for a moment instead of being in the hope of conformity. So many things extravagantly look to develop as we see that there are so many people who would like to see amazing things, especially whilst they flow freely from times that we're looking to see how we could shine off, off of many facets, as we see that we are here and we just go into the chat box of hope, creating symphonies so that we could be a little less loopy because our eyes were the things that tick tock like glasses as we wondered why things became so fruity maybe even tutti fruity like the thing we used to chew, but sometimes it was a little less difficult to grip because it was covered in saliva like spit. As we continued to grow through this masterful way, filling our cup to see a legend, but we were unable to say, is the cup half full or is it half empty? Or is it overflowing because we are wealthy? Or is it overflowing because we are healthy and faith moves mountains, but doubt creates them? As we escape, then maybe we practice in this kingdom of abyss. As we go into the hole known as a bedroom, but we would never see what life would be like if we were less cold. And it leaves us like the fruit that leaves its tree. 
picked by someone who would like a little bit of pina colada, maybe cut with diamonds so that we could see what life would be like if we were maybe having a lager, a beer, or even a pint. As we go and we see it overflow like lava because we have just erupted and poured our heart onto this piece of paper. Well, I'll tell you what my piece of paper is. It's the air. And my voice allows us to see how we can smell with our senses like our noses. Look into the ice as we break stones and maybe we could see that future is the thing that is dripping as we look through a transparent, as we look through things with transparency, exasperated because we would rather be looking for breath, as we see the bath waxed so that we would slip into a sublime, sublime, deep, deep, deep blue sea. Whilst we were like a nomad, feeling a little cheeky, because cheeky was those things that made us wake up all, like a wake up call in the morning, because we were out partying too hard last night. And now a party is not the same way it used to be, all up in the waves, but we held on to the things that we craved the most, like sugar. And when we hit that crash, we maybe hit the cradle. So many people were looking for friends, but were only able to continue on this journey, especially whilst we grew and collaborated so that we could grow through many things in life and see friends. But we would rather see that this is maybe the beginning of the next chapter and not the end. How are we doing for time? Keep going, keep going. The chat is going absolutely off. It's all yours. That is going cool. So let's see, where were we? We had waves, we had wake up call, we had, okay. So here we are for time. And how many things have you regretted after there was just peace of mind and we could see that the cradle were the things that friends had to see as we stood firm in this paradox. Maybe there was a flavor that was unable to label us with the labels as we saw that it was just the top of the bottleneck at the peak of the apex, then we saw that biting was the only thing for new beginnings, especially whilst we, you know, sometimes you get that itchiness around your navel and it's long overdue because the new world, we world were the things that allowed us to be true to ourselves, speaking in tongues of mothers, but where are our mother's tongues? Where did they go? Maybe this is just pure insanity, especially whilst we reap through these words that continue to flow through like rocks and create waves. As we see geometry and other things that maybe become more or less of a mystery after we become intoxicated, well shaken. Friendship moves people from victim to victor, especially whilst music creates snakes and ladders, or is it something that would be something that we add to a conspiracy because there is more to us than what meets the eye, but we truly be free from ourselves in time. As these scents of blankets and moonlights continue to conspire, especially whilst the icebergs, you know those icebergs that are deeper on the bottom than you can see on the top. And then we see benches, but vote for the rocks. Because we push ourselves out and maybe don't get the props, seeing love eyes and shampoo and then see because we're worth it and as we continue to wash these locks you know like goldilocks had or maybe we should say like what i have as we walk hand in hand searching for a genius to make ourselves a plan so that we can take over the sensational world because there is only something for us as we continue to walk and then we see there is more food for thought. As words continue to flood in like finality, the shadows and consimerate, looking for this, loving it, especially whilst drinking, mate. <laughs> come on, Diamond, come on. Wait, this is relentless. Whilst drinking, Never mate. Woohoo! <laughs> Why drinking, mate? 
You are killing whilst me. Whilst we do this creation, looking for tiptoes, especially whilst the river is what we dipped our toes into. You know, when we were sitting on the, on the side, on the wharf, kicking our feet, glass up to me because we would rather retreat. As we stirred into the sunset, the sun that had set, and as the sky turned a little darker, we were able to see the cosmos. So incredible, the stamina of as we walked past the lake. I'm not sure how we got there, but we must have taken a shooting star. As we went, it was rocky and we made a wish. There were so many people who would rather wish for a better life or a better this, but maybe there was just so much rolling in the mud. I wish it was lighter so that I could see that I was rolling in mud instead of some excrement. Shoreline, because yeah. we see that there was more to line that we had to walk on this finer line as maybe the twirling of thumbs and this is too good for us to see what life would be like if we had just begun. I wish I had pressed record because this is some type of reward for all of our triumphs. As we hold an umbrella up, do we need it out or do we need it closed? Are we outdoors or indoors staying, staying in isolation or as we laugh at our own thoughts? Seeing that there were so many things that we could have put to the table were, but were unable to see what life would be like if we were just able to label ourselves with a laser tag. You know those ones that they put the barcodes on? Mine would read romance, maybe. What would yours read? Especially whilst nobody knows that we can be freed from these mental constrictions. And then we see that there were so many instructions because we wanted to bifurcate the lines that we walked on so that we could have one that we walked from to one that we walked to, especially while smiling faces were wanting more mushrooms. I'm not sure why. But I guess that's how they get that smile. And as we see that there are so many vegans, we won't go into that topic too deep. <laughs> but as we reach the height of the peak, we can see that we are here to embrace people from wherever they are. As we drink the ink and meet the universe, maybe we reach somewhere amongst the stars. And we'll give it a moment. And if words stop, We'll leave it at that. You're a machine. You're a machine of words. A beautiful, beautiful machine. You're not a machine. You're a wonderful human. Oh, my um, God. And every time. None of this is ever planned. And it's, it's absolutely incredible. Oh, my God. Woo. Thank you very much, everyone. Is it the glasses? Is it? Is it? How's it working? Got the, got this little feed. Here, things the glass opening. Oh man, how are you so quick with it? Just look, look. Even here, Katie saying I could watch you for hours. We could literally watch you for hours. So we might even have to have you again at the end. You know, with Michael as well, because wow, cool. <laughs> Let me know. I'm here. Yeah. Thanks so much, man. You Thank look you up. Much, you well. Love you, man. Good Love to see you. Love you. See you all soon. Thanks, Love everyone. everyone. Pete, Pete, that nearly killed me. I was trying to keep clicking everything to get it shown up, but he was going so quickly. I went, your, your thoughts are going quicker than the, the, the blimmin' mouse. Honestly, it's... Yeah, it's amazing. He amazes me. Wowzers. Well, Pete, I think um, it's it's time for us two to do a piece, but I think, Pete, can you can you hit it whilst we're on the universe? Absolute relentlessness. Oh, my God. It's diamond. I cannot get enough of you. Pete is another one that I cannot get enough of. So, Pete, I'm going to go into okay. the cloud right now and you can just hit it with your absolute lyrical genius. So, everyone, Pete Cox. Cheers, man. Uh, I'm going to do my latest, because there's so many poets in here. This is my latest poem, which I remembered, which is four poets. I'm sure you'll relate. So I walk into a room full of fear and dread and I open my mouth and this is what I said. My name is Peter. And I am a recovering poet, and I've been ignoring conformity my whole life. 
And now reality has abruptly crept up on me externally. So it's no more work on the internal needs from this day forward. It's purely an outside job for me to be free. As this infliction has caused friction that's ruled my addiction. And I've grown wary of how scary this airy fairy, quite contrary poetic dictionary has barely prepared me for everyday interactive festivities. I mean, do you see how easily I lose simplicity and set speed when the rhyme vine twists me with such entwined intricacy? Now, where were we? Oh, yeah, there I was doing my best to bury my emotions, trying not to gesticulate during conversations, gluing my arms and my hands into my pockets for mine and your protection, when out of nowhere, a naughty little haiku caught my attention. And it was just the one. One. Well, five, seven, five to be precise. And that was all it took to ignite and fire the fuses that are wired to the muses. And now this rogue poet is out and alive and off into a micro poem. I did dive and it felt so wrong yet. Oh, so right. And this aroused the prow of the prows, which opened up the purge pipe valves. And before you know it, I'm snorting stanzas off of sea sirens, shooting up to tumty 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 tums and cocktailing them with tumty 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 tumties. And it was all so much debaucherous yet innocent fun. But in the blink of the third eye, I was back to breaking form, becoming an animalistic word eating predator, setting fire to the prey of life through a pen and paper incinerator. Crawling through the fallen poet's graveyard with tombstones a sign from the bloodletting of becoming a political and religious outcast, where society silenced their brains because they, they had the audacity of sharing their pain of viewing life through a window full of the most blatant stains. Anyway, to cut a long story short, even though long stories are often short stories and short stories are often longer than they appear and where beginnings are endings and endings are never quite that clear. And not to beat around the bush, but what if the bush was regal with water nakedness or modelling springwear seductiveness? I mean, come on, look, I have a problem because I just can't get to the point because the point is attached to a followed finger that conducts a symphony of invisible harmonies that I thought everyone could understand and see, but apparently not. Apparently it's only me. And I thought everyone knew how restrictive it is breathing through similes and metaphors where sentences become statements that have to end with some sort of stare and dramatic pause. I mean, sometimes I just want to switch it off. This view that sees more than one view and asks just who is the viewer who's viewing the viewer who views all these views? And why can't I just buy what they sell me on the news? I just want to nod and agree and plod on through. I just want to be ignorant. Can I please join that queue? Teach me to walk with small talk and partake in only shadow form because I just want to read something and believe it. See something and not question and explore it. See something and not question and explore it. Now, where is this what that I was trying to say before I got lost in this fog bound theater known as wordplay? Oh, yeah, here I am. I'm surrendering. Enough was enough. I've caught and I've caught, I've caught and I've called my own bluff. I'm open to suggestions, so please give me your experiences. I want to digest them. I need to fill my, fill my toolbox with a new set of weapons so I can be part of this show that showed on life's television. And with that, the leader's eyes opened with delight and he leaned right in and I could sense comfort within his grin. So I loosened my defences and became less tight. I was ready for him to give me his experiences and his insight. And he said to me, fuck off, mate. This is a building site. <laughs> Thank you, Bailey. Oh, Pete, let me know. I just, everything that you ever do, I'm in love with it. So thank you. <laughs> oh, I love you too, man. Oh man, thank you so so much. Um, I hope we can grab another one of your poems um, uh, later on, if that's all right. When we go into go into into the not well, it is the night, but you know what I mean. Um, is it okay yeah. if I quickly do a, a quick poem or something? I, I think it would be absolutely back. wrong if you didn't. <laughs> all right. Well, every, everyone, the uh, the first time I actually did spoken word uh, poetry, where I I thought actually, um, wait, let's quickly get this all going because the chat's going off the of peak. Oi, amazing. So, so good. Boom, boom. I oh, love you guys. Thank you. Well, yeah, picking up on that vocal gymnastics is, um, yeah, I, I had no idea. I did music and words. Uh, Pete went there. I saw him. I went, oh, my God. I see my mum. I went, oh, my God. 
what was this guy doing? He did, um, and and yeah, I, I did it, and he, he inspired me to do uh, some other spoken words, and I've kind of trying to find my own little thing, and uh, this is it. So uh, I'll see you in a bit, Pete, and I'm going to quickly do uh, a couple of poems in a bit. In a bit, right? Um, I, I, um, yeah, I, I, I kind of, I'm just grabbing a couple of them, um, and uh, let's just see how it goes. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, following on about uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, I actually did this at the Universe uh, on Wednesday, um, which I was lucky enough to do um, with Pete. Um, but actually, no, I'm going to do I'm going to do uh, two of them on the Black Lives Matter because one's really uh, short and one's uh, quite long. And then I'll do another one. I'll be very, very quick, I promise. Um, but yes, the first one's called Untitled. <coughs> Excuse me. No water. Struggling. Dying. Kitchen's over there. Siblings over there. I'm locked in the middle. Anyways, this is called Untitled. Eighteen thirty three was end of slavery. Wave to me, say to me, this is play to me, fame is me. It seems throughout generations we have made contemplations, negotiations through hesitations of silence. Sorry, give me one second. My mum and Nan are having a little debate, and I'm gonna be back in one second because I feel like you can hear them, and I'm gonna have a quick word. Give me one second. Sorry. Oh, I don't know if I muted myself. Am I there? Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Sorry, I'll start again because I was a bit wary of everything that was going on. Let's start again. <laughs> um, untitled. 1833 was the end of slavery. Wave to me, say to me, this is play to me, fame is me. It seems throughout generations we have made contemplations, negotiations through hesitations of silence. That is the word. The one that is tossed up and meant absurd. We communicate in obliterating people by the color of their skin. We're not products, not items to win. This is no game. This is no show, no gain. Saying it, doing it, living it is alone. Lonesome. That is what is ahead. We have been blessed with culture and who has the right to ban us? This human race uh, divide us like our Nana's trifles cake. Layers, stories, lies from birth. We should be able to move on now without this sense of curse. We should have cut our nails a long, long time ago. Marriages, love should have been the fairy tale in snow. Ice is now cold heart and stone. We can keep rising until this ice is the water we flow, coursing through the veins. It is coming and we will keep going again and again and again until we are one, one, not afraid. We are the flock and flock remain. We won't leave anyone without their skin. It's time to live, to live, to live and win. And that's untitled. Um, and then following that, I, I did, that was something that I kind of wrote um, on, on a particular free in between classes. And it was kind of a little stream of consciousness. I like to just do moments. And then this one is called the Heartbreak Hustle. And it was kind of, um, yeah, it was when everything was going off on the news. Every, everything's bad anyway. Um, but Trump was being a bit of a, and um, it kind of, uh, uh, I kind of, stopped the telly, um, stopped myself from really swearing and getting involved with a, a, another conversation and I uh, put thoughts to paper. <coughs> the heartbreak hustle. We talk about being locked on ourselves, being kept from life, but are we being the ones to be searched for knives, identity, shame and roam? We stay in our towers and we look down below. Isolation has always been. You can say we were once one, never a team. Attention is always what has been had. If we let go of ego and response, Johnny could have had a dad, a family, a life of his own. Instead, we say black lives and here we go again, again, the same intact. 
Look at your white sheets and them in the black, the red, the pouring blood. We have had our privileges and they are in floods of tears. It's been so long. There have been movements, abolitions, and we're still in none. Hun, it's not 1833. Black lives were liberated and that was meant to be guaranteed. But now all we have are these tweeting tags. Alarm bells are ringing and we use a hashtag. This ain't enough. This ain't cool. This is a bloodbath that is bubbling loot to warm. Heat is rising. Here comes the game. People who look for peace are always made slaves, murdered, dead at will. Martin Luther King had to pay his bill. Rights fuck. Shame me now. Human hearts are broken. A little droll dick's a cow saying now is not the time. If time is not now, when can we survive in this hell? And ouch, fuck, a bleeding feel. Corona is a major player. Freedom has appealed. Shout out to those workers who keep us from illness. We are provided, but enough is enough. No skating on the ice of this shaky world. If that were me, I would be crying the very same words. Help me. Help me. I can't breathe. Love is tender and love is relief. What are the influencers doing in this day? They have a following and can tell those who are eight what is true, true in this world. Money is one thing, but life is the girth, the grit, the playing grind. You want to hear music? Take this to its finest tune. The blues, the 70s rock. Me being me ain't having no writers. Block train, Martin, George Floyd, the faces that were before. We have a mouth and they can't speak no more. We're all still alive, breathing, completing our day-to-day -day life. Stop to think here and now. Brothers are our nation and our nation devoted to movements, to rising with steam. Elections, rejections, United States, fiends, respect is needed. More in two. We can count our blessings. They fear of the who will will be next. Could it be me? This is why we're fighting to get us off our knees. No pressures on the spine. No pressures in our scope. Dreamers can be dreamers and believers can have hope. America started to become full again. Obama the liver, Trump of the sand, turmoil forces. Why now? All a black man wants to do is ride his bike, run and shower. Right, that's it. Now, we only stay in the hood. You judge their way of living, but you force their living goods. They don't want to leave what is close to home. You strike opportunity down just like building another rich home. The cycle of shit must be stopped. I'm sick of people sucking all, all of these cocks watching this. Nobody that. If that was me in that situation, I would be the same on my back. Help, help. That is what we all need. Open your eyes and see the inevitability. Time. Stop. No more now. If I can say this, why aren't the blacks allowed? We're all equal in our eyes. If being good will get us killed, I'm holding those tight fight rights to be made. No one deserves to be treated as a slave. Open your church, open your heart. It's time to recalibrate and make a new start. I really hope 20 years from now, there won't be this conversation because we would have laid it all out. Influences, celebrities, please, please, please. Use your power and provide those with possibilities of change. To let those earn a wage, let the dreamer be the next Obama turning the page. Education, family is all we need. Imagine if the innocent lies we lost could tell the officer. Google me, please. Now, all of this is a crazy concern. What will it take for us to live and learn? The heartbreak hustle is a living game. Strip back, live back, no more pain, no more gain, no more fame, no more complaints. Sustain the life we also crave. We want a sense of economic boom. Give the people what they want, equal rights and food. Chew that up, the cherry berry pie. This has been Drink the Ink. Don't take a, take, don't take a nose dive. And that's that one. I'm so sorry if you can hear everyone in the background. It's really irritating me. I can hear the Xbox going off and everything going but uh there we go that's um that's what's going on and then i'm gonna just do a real real quick one i'll get a really short one just here uh this is called three corners um and then we'll hit michael and diamond yet again and pete so in life you can't just exist you can't be the boat that will hit and miss confidence aspiration mind and work simply come together when we are put first life is never ending it is but a mere dream. If we come together, then we can feed on thoughts, the thoughts we once knew. Coming together and practicing skill set is only what the few do to sustain in life. If you want progression, you must take flight, soaring, soaring, soaring into the sky, never asking questions and never knowing why. Be that little boy. Be that little child. Be that little girl who didn't have pressures for a while. 
while. A while indeed. Open yourself up to your endless possibilities. The world is your oyster. That is something you know. But did anyone ever tell you of where to go? Navigation, satellites, pick-me-ups and streams. Got me thinking that we as people try to find our means, our own means, relying on this object of luck. Luck has three corners, and if you don't move, you'll end up stuck. Luck, luck is a period of two. Make three wishes, and then you can't prove the chances, the chances you have. If you keep relying on the genie, you'll never get that lamp. Reality, reality, everything is true. If you want to meet them three corners, begin with what's new. Now, here and again, people will start blessing if you act when you were ten, dreaming, dreaming, dreaming away, having no pressures and letting re thoughts restart again and again and again. Reboot that system. That system you never knew. If you only stuck to three corners, you'd be that Montague battling those partners, battling self, thinking of what's wrong and right, never looking at health, living, breathing and true. If you want success, start with you. And then that is me. I'm so sorry if you can hear the background noise. but well, None of us can hear it. I think it's just you, mate. Oh, my God, it's just me. It's so, so loud. But I guess, yeah. There we go. Anyways, hey, how you doing, Pete? I'm doing very well, mate. I was in, in awe of your words, to be honest with you. The, if the world is your lobster, it's just... Uh, yeah, well, um, oh, my goodness. I think, um, shall we call Michael back and then we'll... No, uh... I just like the way you just say it, man. You just say it. I remember when you performed at Musical Words and you just... Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my goodness well um i think we should close it right now say thank you to everyone that's been there uh been here for the whole time those that will be listening to this recording and yeah it's been absolutely sensational thank you so so much thank you thank you pete thank uh, you thank you thank you everyone yeah everyone uh to play us off uh is michael this has been drink the ink the universe forgotten words thank you and good night Michael, Hello. take it away whenever you're ready. Michael, Michael. This is a this is a cover of a song I've um, I've massively related to lately. It's a song called "You Don't Get Me High Anymore" by uh, by Phanagram. <laughs> Yeah, we
Yeah, well, you've got so many of the lyrics. Well, so you got us high. <laughs> you, you got us high. Were you not getting high? We all got high off of the supply that you don't have, but you gave us for your own stash that you have within you. That's personal. I, get, I, keep, I keep that shit locked away just for me. So I'm glad to share it. <laughs> that you was so beautiful, Mike. That was brilliant. Thank you so, so much for coming back as well. Thank you for having me. Let me get for us. Thank you so, so much, guys. Ending the broadcast now. Um, we'll all still be on here afterwards, don't worry. Uh, but thank you. This has been Drink the Angry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.